the Unexpectables. I am Takahata 101, joined by Chris Zito, Gaijin Goomba, and of course, someone opening and closing his fucking door, Senile Snake. <laughs> and of course, the DM is my lovely sister, Monty Glue. And now, Hello. I will take it away so she can ingratiate us now to the fantasy world we last left ourselves in. Alrighty, so just before we start, uh, a little bit of clarification. Um, I made a mistake in the first session uh, regarding the way in which currency is dealt with. Um, I'm used to a 100, uh, 100 silver to gold system in my Pathfinder campaign that I've been running for two years. And I now have to fix a mistake that we've made um, in the first campaign, which is where 10 silver pieces equals one gold piece, 10 copper pieces equal one silver piece. So. Okay. Um, for those of you who have money, you say you have 56 silver pieces, uh, just round that off to, you know, six silver pieces, if possible. Yep. Uh, we are picking up some, a little bit of audio from Snake. I don't know if we want to fix that up or... Snake, we can hear your entire house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's okay. <laughs> it's a very lovely house. Oh, thank you. I can hear the spirits in there, man. I, I turned myself down a little bit. Hey, it's me, Babadook. What are you doing here? It's oh, you know. Being it's gay. Being gay. <laughs> being gay. I, ho I hope the Babadook has a float in the gay pride parade. <laughs> it's just him <laughs> pop. It's just him <laughs> pop. <laughs> Whoa. What? What? There we go. Alrighty, so so I want to thank everyone first of all, also real quick. Thank you all for coming back and watching us and listening to us be a bunch of assholes in this new fantasy world of the Unexpectables. So, <laughs> uh, the Babadook will not be appearing in this campaign. Oh. <laughs> Soon though. Thank you very much for the bits, everybody. And we're going to let my sister uh, and we're gonna let my sister take it away here. And the four of us will stop being chuckle nuts, but be chuckle nuts for you. Yes. Alrighty. When last we left our heroes, Greckles, the Kenku Rogue, Panic, the Tiefling Bard, Vorky, the Orc Barbarian, and Task, the Cobalt Ranger, the party had found entry into the new city of Alavast, Woo! a melting pot of various races, magics, and pursuits. Led through the city of... Secretary Elena, the party met with the powerful Abacus Sweetfingers, a halfling accountant in charge of the financial assets of various city districts. Abacus tasked the party with a quest to aid her close friend Peyton Black, who had sent word that his town Wolfston had been the victim of a thief. After signing magical contracts and setting out into the western forests beyond Alavas, the party was surprised by the sudden attack of a mountain lion. The party quickly dispatched the starving beast with an axe to the shoulder, some choice words of mockery, a swift arrow, and two well-placed blades. A night's rest later, and the party stepped foot into Wolf's Den, and were greeted by the uneasy townsfolk who lived in the small settlement. After announcing their intentions and showing their might through the pelt of the lion they had slain, Peyton Black invited the party into his home to explain the nature of his thief. Peyton Black explained that the thing that besieged the village was a creature of unknown origin, intention, and physical logic. It attacked him in a duel-like fashion, but ended its assault when Peyton surrendered. After its victory, the strange being tore through the town's stores, only to steal away the young six-year-old daughter of Peyton Black. Begged the party to help return his daughter, slay the strange being, and help the villagers on their travels, as this mysterious thing has now continued westward deeper into the unknown. So, um, you guys currently are, are still within the home of Peyton Black. Um, Borky, you have gone to seek out the baker. Yes. Um, received all the, real, the answers real you wanted. Real fascinating, you cut out again. Oh, did I? Oh, shoot. Well, yeah. where did I cut out? Sorry? I just to start, you're like, uh, I was, Borky was going to the bakery. Continue. Oh, I just said Borky was going to the bakery, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, Peyton Black, getting your information, uh, was there anything else you wanted to ask him before going into the village itself? I guess not at this point. I mean, could we do a sense motive? Like, would a sense motive even matter at this point? Do? Okie dokie. 
Oh wait, is that a perception or insight? That's that would insight, be insight. Yeah. Mm, too dark. Pathfinder. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, right. <laughs> what once you play Pathfinder they go over to D D, it's like, oh wait, what happened here? Right. Um, the crow knows everything. As as you listen intently to Peyton Black through this entire thing, just sitting listening to him talk about the creature, talk about, you know, his missing daughter. Um, this you you hear a desperate man. Um, you hear a heartbroken man. Um, and you hear a very strong man. He's trying to keep himself together. He's doing a very good job. Uh, for a moment, you think he's lying, but then you realize it's literally him just kind of keeping the words, letting the words come out. Um, but it, it, you can tell it's hard for him. Um, you've, you've met a decent amount of folk who are kind of up against a wall, have no other choice, and, and this is definitely that, that, that sort of man. Um, there's definitely a, um, a sense to him as well as he talks about the creature. Um, there, you, you feel an evidence of a person who has faced death. You, you get a sense that whatever this thing was that he interacted with was terrifying. So, hmm. that's what you discern from the, the conversation. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, we might as well just go ahead and head into the village itself. I mean, it's not like we can't come back. Yeah. Well, the, the sooner the better. I'd like to get to the next town over and talk to this paladin that uh, he spoke of. Right. Okay. Can Bor Borky arrive? Can Borky arrive at the bakery? Yes. Um. You actually you open up. It's a very lovely bakery. It has actual glass like windows, which mm. for a settlement out this far is pretty impressive. Yeah, to ship um, that glass as... in. Mm -hmm, they got glass in. As you pull open the door, you hear the ding ling ling of a little bell above the door, and as you kind of come in, the doors pretty short you kind of have to duck in hmm. you see um a, a rather stoutly woman with uh brown curled hair um and she is some, doing something on the ground and then she turns and she sees you she looks shocked for a minute but then recognizes you from when you enter town hello there tell me about your baked goods uh oh uh, <laughs> yes of course and she uh she goes over and you see Probably the same reason why she has glass in her actual uh, windows is that there's actually a large glass shelf. Mm. Most of the, the, the countertop of this establishment. And you look in, you see you see some macaroons. You see mostly hearty breads, uh, rye bread, sourdough. Mm. Uh, more like staple food bread. Not so much, you know, cupcakes and cookies and things like that. Like more bread that the hunters would take out with them to go hunting and that sort of thing. Do you got any sweets? We have macaroons, but they're um, usually for the younger ones. But uh, there's. I'll not. take ten macaroons. I'll take um. A, ba a bag of macaroons. Borky so doesn't want to know. Thirty macaroons then. Borky does not know what a what a thirty is. That is true. Uh, she keeps scooping. Um. I should just keep scooping. I'll tell you when to stop. She takes one big scoop, she pours it in. Mm -hmm. She looks at you. No, keep going. Another scoop, pours it in. That'll be good. That'll be good. All right. She tightens up the bag. It's like a little uh, paper bag. And she ties it actually with a little little ribbon. Oh. And she places it. And she looks up at you. Is like, oh, is it for um, the missus? <laughs> Borky laughs. laughs. Uh, uh, no. No. <laughs> How much? That would be two scoops of macaroons. That's that is one silver piece and five copper. Uh, uh Borky just slams down two silver. Borky doesn't know how to do numbers. So, <laughs> so hold Borky holds up one silver. So this much. Uh, one more, dear. Uh, or. Well, five uh, of uh, the... uh, I don't have those, so, so um, can I give you a second one and we're good? We're good? Oh, okay, if, if you'd like. All right, there you go. Not two silver done. Thank you very uh, much. She pushes the, the, ma the bag of macaroons towards you. It's kind of like a more uh, vertical-based bag. Um, as she kind of offers it to you, she kind of looks up to you. She looks. You can see this sort of heartbroken demeanor that you, you felt from Peyton Black. Not as heavy. Um, she looks up at you, Borky, and she goes, um... Begging your pardon, sir. Are you the one going after Mrs. Black, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Black's daughter at all? Yeah, think so. 
you know, someone has to take care of her, apparently. Apparently, parents can't do that, so. Oh. Mm, that's gonna get real interesting there. Mm. Oh, God, we cannot let you go anywhere alone. Yeah, um, she looks a little angry at you, but then a little bit, like, understanding, like, yeah, I guess. Um, she points, she lifts the finger, and she goes, um, Mr. Orc, if, could you wait there just well, for I miss, a second? I think that no, please, call me Borky. A Borky, okay. Um, yeah. a Borky, could you wait there just for a second? I'll be right back. I think I have something that might help you. Well, what? And you hear... I mean, the macaroons are going to do okay, but sweet. I'll take whatever else. You... Into a hallway behind mm. the counter. Sorry, you, you, cut, you, you cut out. You cut out. Did I? Okay. Uh, she... she goes past the counter and then she goes into a, a hallway uh that's just directly behind her business um you see her open a door and, and then she walks inside Bor borky's trying to peer, borky's trying to kind of peer in as best as he can could borky try and look through the door could borky go for a perception check on that perception yeah okay very fascist sorry guys I'm sorry, to... taka i have i have to say this you you have you must be some kind of lucky because you have a fucking GM patented patience meter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did any of us yeah. say that we were gonna follow him? Last no, week? no, I got I took off very no. pissed off. All right, oh, I'm gonna boy. roll for perception and. Yeah, no, <laughs> you like you kind uh -oh. of lean and then as you're leaning, your head hits a decoration and it like kind of ding, 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 and you kind of scratch your head. Um, as you're kind of leaning back, the lady comes out with a box and she places it on the counter. And I'm gonna believe that's what that is. Real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, she pulls out a uh, a box and she hands it to you and she goes, um, "If you have any magically inclined folk, um, take this to them. They might find use of it. Okay, dear." The box is magical. Uh, don't. Don't open it. Okay? All right, Just okay. Take it to whoever you have who is magically inclined. Do you know what inclined means, dear? Sure. <laughs> His eyes just go fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> Play a cool book if she doesn't know. Of course I know who's inclined. Okay, dear. She kind of gives you a gentle pat on your shoulder and goes, you take care now. You join those macaroons, okay? Oh, I plan it. I got, a, I got an idea for them. Hey, lovely. Uh, take care. And she opens up the ding ling ling. She opens up the front door for you. Oh, oh real fast. Borky pops his head back in. But I didn't ask her. The macaroons good. So, dear, I made them myself. Is that a yes or a no? Ah, should yes, be fine. Should are. be fine. Should be fine. All right, magic mm. box is in, is in Borky's inventory, and Borky leads the wonder back to the group. <laughs> uh, add two rations to your inventory, uh, unless you no, use I, them I, for another purpose. They're for another possible purpose. Okay. So don't add two rations, then. All right. Uh, the rest of you, um, you're currently in Peyton Black's house. You finished speaking with him. What would you like to do? Uh, Panic is actually going to uh, ask Peyton if there is a... Uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Black. They wouldn't have to uh, be yes. a, a, a stage anywhere, uh, something on the town square. Uh, he looks at you and he goes, "No. <laughs> the only stage we have is where I fought that thing, which you could barely call it that." All right. For a music uh, man. Yes, that is generally what my profession calls for. Yes. If. Some call me Bard, but Music Man will suit me fine, I suppose. I, uh, the mood in this town seems to be a little uh, melancholy, and I'm hoping yes. I might be able to fix that. Maybe provide some small comfort. Yeah, for sure. Um, sorry, I just need to put a pause on the campaign at the moment. I just, bo um, I just, bo I just boosted his audio. Don't worry. Like, oh, okay. Someone's tapping. Huh? I think that was you, Zito. So that, that was me trying to quickly okay. what was going all right. on. <laughs> Alright, I I I I I have right can you can you speak real fast, um Sina? Uh this is me speaking. I am senile. Okay, can you guys can the chat hear him okay now? Let's just wait for the response. I'm sorry for the pause here. We just gotta like while while we're waiting on that, um 
could I just could I possibly do an investigation check to try to talk to the rest of the townsfolk when we get to that point to just kind of save time? All right, sure. uh, yeah. real, real fast. You're still quiet, Connor. We need you to turn up your audio. Am I still quiet? Yeah, dude. When you t- when you speak in that voice, it's like dead. Like it's Damn. it's like yeah, it's really it's even quiet. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can turn it up anymore without peaking it. Let's let's try it though. I'm, I'm turning it up right now. Um, now you're too. Oh, now you're too loud. Here, my little. Yeah, yeah, you're really peaking. Oh, now, now say something. Okay. Uh, hello. Say Apparently, something. everyone needs to go louder. Can uh, uh, Taka? Can you raise uh, Discord from your sound settings? Uh, I'll try here. One second. I'm just fucking around, man. Here, voice audio. Uh, so like output is that in voice settings? Is that what I'm looking for right now? Or you're looking for our open volume mixer? Open volume mixer. On on dis- at, the, at the very bot your speakers. Go to your speakers. Uh, right click and then open volume mixer. Uh, okay, are you talking about Discord right now or my fucking computer? Your computer. Okay, so I don't have that. I right click audio sound manager, audio devices, system sound events, media Windows media player, volume control, sound recorder. Hmm. Volume, volume control. Vo- uh, everything's at max. Okay. So I'm gonna go in now into user settings real fast here. Uh, voice. Um, how do I turn up Discord? Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. Vo- someone says go to volume control in the chat. Mm, I'm. I've turned up everybody. I'm trying. Like I'm constantly tweaking it every second. I think there's a. Uh, what are you? There's using an output do? volume in the voice settings itself. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. Output in output. Do- but I don't know if that's your microphone output or. No, your... that's a speaker output. Okay. Now, is that sound better to everybody now? Everyone speak. Hello there. Hello. Hi, I'm Senile Snake. I'm very quiet. I think this should be good now. Zeno talk. Yeah. Ha ha, bobbity boopy, bibbity bibbity bobbity bobbity. Nadine, talk. I am speaking the words now. Yeah, oh, there we go. We fixed it. Do I sound okay? Do I sound okay? There we go. We have saved. (laughs) We have fixed the audio. Oh, hell. (laughs) All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, Goomba, lead us in some cheering Japanese audio. Hey, hey, ho. Hey, 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 ho! Hey, 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 ho! Hey, hey, ho! Alrighty. <laughs> wow, dude, you're so fucking loud. Holy shit. Am I? Yeah. Not really. Not on my end. Well, on my end, no. she is. Because I remember I adjusted everyone's audio on my end. So I'm going to retweak everybody. Let it be known that I'm a Baka survivor. Oh. That's good. All right. Okay, speak up, Nadine. All right, I'm speaking now. All right, cool. Let's just keep on rolling. All right, we're good to go? Mm-hmm. All right, so, Greckles, as you set out into the town, um, most of the people are kind of more hunters than anyone who mm. would be working at this hour or out in the woods hunting, mm. probably. You guys showed up early morning, and by the time you spoke with Peyton Black and left, most of the villagers are gone. They're out working in the forest. There is one person besides the uh, the baker and a general... There's a little general store, but it's, like, it's being run by, like, a, obviously a probably about an 18 year old boy and mm-hmm. he uh he's not talkative at all he seems disinterested um and, and you try and strike up a conversation but he doesn't care he seems bitter at the moment he doesn't want to be there um but you do right. find the local blacksmith who is willing to talk to you and he's just clang clang he's working what look what looks like a pick at the moment and he sees you approach and he kind of dusts off his apron and he kind of leans up the forge is flaring it's very hot and he looks up at you and he goes, how can I help you? Well, look, I didn't come to Mincewood, so I'll get right to the point. Payne Black has told us everything that's happened in this town, and I am just looking for any additional information. You are a blacksmith. I am. I have reason to believe that what came through this town was not natural. And as a man of steel and metal, I wondered if you could give me any insight to what possibly came through. You want my theory on it? I think we've angered the forest. I think we've been taking too much. Everyone so? keeps saying, well, we're hunter folk, right? right? Going out hunting? Glenn, there's people out there. 
you know, people who are can talk to animals, you know, speak to animals and deal with nature. I think maybe we pissed one of them off. That's what I think, but you speak I don't know. of everyone druids. else says it's it's druids. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're called. Uh, to my understanding, I've been around here and there, and that's I've I've heard rumors of them. You know, Yidia herself could be mad at us. I don't know, but whatever that thing was, it did wield a weapon. That was for sure. It had a weapon. But, what weapon? Uh, nothing I could ever make. Sword, like massive. And despite the rest of it, it seemed like brand new. Like it was just forged yesterday. So it was completely metallic. That's unusual. I've never heard of druids using metallic weapons. Anything yeah, else you can tell yeah. me? Yeah, I mean, uh, I get close to the damn thing. You, can you blame me? No, I cannot. But I am very interested in anything else you can tell me. I'm sure Peyton Black mentioned it. You know, the thing went digging through my stuff. Right. It didn't touch the iron ingots. I mean, it rustled it around a bit. I can fix that at least. But, you know, I was hiding behind the forge, like right behind that smokestack there. And after it left, I went to go look at the iron, and there was like this red stuff, like coming off my iron, uh, like a smoke or something. Do you have any remnants of it, uh, ash of any kind? He, he leans over into, like, a trough filled with these iron bars, and he lifts one up, and it's heavy, it's hefty, and he holds it up to you, goes, look at it, not a single thing, not a remnant, not nothing. That's so bizarre. Was well, there I anything else you... I tell you, it's weird. It's, it's, it's gotta be, like, a curse of some kind or something. <sighs> but was, did it do any damage to the metal, or did it just appear as smoke? I swear. Well, it, it touched it, right, with its, its hand. And then as it lifted its hand away, it was just like, whoosh, like, like steam off of a bath. Hmm. Perhaps heat? Heat. That ain't heat. Steam off of heat is clear. This was not clear. Uh, just, just really quick, you cut out a couple times. I wasn't oh. sure if you said that, it was, that if the metal was damaged or not. <laughs> it just touched it, and there was, there was steam, there was red steam, and it was gone. The metal disappeared. Thing that came and touched it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is so interesting. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, my companions and I may need uh, of your craftsmanship, and we're willing to pay for it. But uh, thank you for your time. I actually, I don't make weapons, but I do make. And he leans over and he grabs a bundle of five arrows. He goes, "All I have." Hunters took the rest. I'm sorry. We got to make our living. And he hands it to you. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. I have a little friend who might be interested in these. Yeah, well, you bring back Peyton's girl, curse or not. Things should be taken, children. And he goes back to clang. I'll uh, I'll head outside. Can I can I do an investigation check just for the 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 random destruction and debris to see if I can piece anything together? Okay. All right. Roll an investigation. Oh, ho. you like on your little birdie legs, you were leaning over like your hands crossed behind your back. You were peering around your head's kind of like a chicken. You're like do, 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 checking everywhere in terms of the businesses. There's no damage. That's what's weird. You can you can tell um, that certain things have been knocked over, but they've probably been put back into place. Mm -hmm. What is um, present, though, is in the center of town where Peyton, uh, Peyton Black claimed to have have basically engaged this creature. You see um, lots of gravel being thrown everywhere, obviously a sign of, of a fight. You also see in certain places deeply wedged, probably a good foot and a half deep, are giant marks indicating a sword of a very heavy weight hitting in the place. There's no trace. The other thing that's really, really weird is that you see Peyton's footprints other footprint just one foot wait, 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 from wait, another wait, party. You, you cut out you, you cut out no oh i don't think my i don't think getting a new wire fixed the microphone it's the internet which is kind it's, of a it's, change. it's the internet you sound better though that's the important thing oh, okay um sorry you guys. said there was peyton's footprints was there but only one other larger footprint you said yeah just one from from your deduction this thing had one leg what Brain blast. It it's, was on a unicycle. <laughs> it's, 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 
And the more like listening to Peyton and and looking and talking to people, this is whatever this is is weird. Like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The fact that like you're you're kind of doubting it even exists at all at this point because it seems a little too far fetched. But that's what you find. That's what you see. The other thing that concerns you are the deep deep marks from whatever weapon this thing was wielding. So massive. So just just to clarify. Um, deep wedge marks that are just massively deep from the sword hitting, patron's footprint, but only one of the large one. And apparently this thing, whenever it touches metal, just produces a red smoke that does very, very little, that does no damage to the metal, but it just disappears. The the smoke after showing up will disappear quickly. All right. Borky, oh, the... Borky walks up to lovely Greckles, a Borky on his way right. back from the bakery. So, Borky look kind of looks at the, the the all the damage being done too. How big was it? Do you think? <sighs> That's the part that doesn't make any sense. Borky, look around you. There's no destruction. There's there's no. All of the buildings are still standing. Nothing's really been destroyed. But look at the ground around you. There's there's all these deep indentions, and I assume it's from whatever this thing wielded. I heard from the blacksmith that it actually was a metallic weapon and that he believes that it comes from some possible for uh, spirit in the forest or, or people in the forest, which doesn't make any sense based on my travels. But the last thing I heard about was apparently when this thing touched metal, it produced a horrid red smoke, but it dissipated almost immediately and did nothing to the metal. It just doesn't make sense. Not to mention the thing, apparently, if you look at the footprints, you, you can see where Peyton was standing. But you, there's only one other footprint in, 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 the, in their scuffle. So this thing apparently only had one leg, is massive, using a giant sword, and was sent for a very specific task. So nothing makes sense in this. And Greckles is no, just no, sitting there, no. tapping at his beak, just like really confused. Borky chimes in. So, like, really big then? Uh, yeah, really big is a good way to put it. Ah, right, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the general store then. <laughs> Borky turns and walks over to go to the general store. You kind of overwhelm <sighs> Borky's peanut-sized brain, and he sets out. Um, <laughs> panic. Uh, panic. You were talking with um, Peyton Black about performing potentially in town. I want you to roll a persuasion check. Okay. Do it, baby, do it! Come on, baby! Do it. We're all so good. Oh! Yeah. Black looks up to you and he goes, "You know what? If you can bring some more life to this village, I think I think the people would appreciate it." If you go in the center of town, there's a little clear patch of grass in front of. We have a small little outlet where we tend to do our festivals and things. You'd be free to pay there or play there. Sorry. Um, in terms of payment, though. Most of the folk here are simple trade folk. They probably won't have much money to offer you, but if you want to perform, I mean, you're more than welcome to. You, you have my permission. Oh, that is not necessary for the, for the payment. You people have been through quite enough, and I would not charge for these services. In the future, if you would like me to play, though, I would, I would uh, be a different story. But for now, you do not have to worry about payment. Peyton Black laughs. He goes, <laughs> if you come back, and he kind of looks a little scared. Oh, uh, ye of little faith. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I have the perfect song for this. I do, and, too. Uh, I've been doing some digging. Someone, someone in the chat just went, Darkness, no parent. Too soon. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So you step out, panic. Uh, Tass, do you follow him, or are you? Wanting to do anything in the I house? Wanted to do, I wanted to do no, not in the house, but I did want to do something. I was told that this place was a hunter's gathering. I want to find me some of the hunter dudes because did we ever get paid for the pelt? No. You threw it on the ground and everyone was like, "Ooh, a pelt!" Uh, but you still have it in your on your persons, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. So I'm I'm gonna find me some of these hunters that this uh, town seems to uh, claim they have. Doing that, I want uh, Panic you to do a performance check, please. All right. Before he starts playing, he's gonna he's gonna cast Thaumaturgy on his hands. All right. And he's gonna, and he's gonna go like. 
so loud booming claps echo across the village. Um, trying to get, trying a lot to of get people to come out of their houses. They show up. They came out of their houses. The wives of some of the hunters. <laughs> um, oh the, no. <laughs> the, young, the young fellow from the general shop at this point, Borky, you're heading that way. He's kind of standing outside, and he kind of stops you, and he turns to go look at what's going on in the middle of town. And then, um, basically, Peyton back comes out. I need you to roll a performance check. You've you've attracted attention. It's now okay. time for your performance. Here we go. Be good. Nice. You begin to play. I. I... Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a. Uh, you begin to play, and the villagers at first, especially the older ones, aren't sure quite to make of it. They're um. It's uh, especially the, the young kid from the uh from the general shop. He is digging it. This kid is like headbanging. He's enjoying it. He's having a good time. Um, despite not uh, putting up any sort of like hat or, or thing to pick up money, um, a few of the townsfolk actually come over and they do drop some money in uh, on the, basically on the ground in front of you um, as sort of an appreciated thing. And eventually, like all the ladies, even though they don't really, this isn't exactly the music they like, they kind of clap along and they kind of like shimmy and they, it's weird. It's like you know, it's it's a new age music and they don't know how to quite to respond to it, but they seem to enjoy it. Yeah. Except for, except for that little old lady in the corner there. Hold your hands up like this, you ninnies, <laughs> with your two fingers up. What? <laughs> the blacksmith. The blacksmith is also like he's he's hammering and he's like hammering the metal to the beat. Like he's like <laughs> tink. Like he's, he's playing to it too. He's digging it. Yeah, um, this is especially great because it's a heavy metal rendition of Don't Worry, Be Happy, and I'm he's singing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little song I wrote. <laughs> want you to sing it note for note. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't, Be happy. Don't, Be happy. Don't yes. worry. Be bulky. Don't worry. <laughs> oh. I missed a as uh, <laughs> as the music kind of comes out into a close, uh, you've amassed uh, you've amassed two gold pieces, uh, which for a village this small is pretty good. Um, going back to the old ladies, one of the old ladies he goes, "My, you're so talented and handsome too." <laughs> oh, no. oh well, <laughs> thank you. I don't like to brag, but I I do take very good care of my horns. <laughs> my daughter in Alavas would quite like you, and she gives you a sly wink. <laughs> hey, uh, what's her name? <laughs> her name's Holly. She works at a store in the Upper General District. Hmm. Upper General District. Oh, I will right. have to pay her a visit. Thank you. Oh, she's she'd love you. You're a treat. And she kind of pats you again and waffles off. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Morty. I, I know this is in hindsight, but I didn't want to interrupt the magic. As I'm watching everyone just leaving their house, can I search some of the more vacant buildings for clues of any kind? Um, clues? <laughs> clues, you say? Oh. Clues, I say. <laughs> in the time allocated by the performance, you go into the tailor shop, which is the other shop that Peyton Black mentioned being rummaged through. Mm -hmm. Um, you dig through and, I mean, it's all just robes, winter clothing. Anything in there would weigh you down. Um, you notice off to the side there are some nicer robes, I mean, nice for the location, um, that appear to have been, like, like, are basically, like, you ever go to a lawn, like, a, like, a clothing store and, like, some, ain't, like, really annoying person just goes through all the folded clothes and just slaps it back on the shelf? Mm -hmm. It basically looks like that, which looks like someone's rummaged through. Should I should I do any um, specific uh, perception checks to see if anything is amiss, or an is this just literally it? If you want to do an investigation I... check, you can. Yeah. Damn. Uh, no, that's nothing. <laughs> yeah, no. You dig through. I mean, even I mean, there's no real limitation. You do dig through. You don't find anything. It's just a pile of clothes. Um, and as that happens, you hear the music dying down. Okay, and I'll make my way out to the commotion then. Uh, you are now all together. Uh, Borky, the oh, want, general shop. Uh, do you want something specific? I did want something specific. Can I really quickly, can I really quickly do it? So for the sake of time, we'll make this pretty quick. I want rope. 
Oh wait, yeah, okay. You're yeah, just to just to clarify, you've seen that your companions have rope on them. No, I want rope for me though. You want rope for you? Yeah. Okay. Uh rope, okay. Uh there is hempen rope fifty feet. It's one gold piece. I'll take it. Hemp just 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 call right. it rope. The boy lazily uh, hemp and rope, it's 50 feet. You have 50 feet of rope. Rope, 50 feet. Okay, cool. One gold piece down. It's down to 13. All right. Rope. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank so you. So, now it's the time you spent. Um, Greckles, you've, you've gone up and down. You've searched everything. Anything that you would have gotten from this village, you've either gotten, and it's what you have. Mm -hmm. Peyton Black gave you as much information as he could. The villagers gave you as much information as you could. Uh, um, task is you're kind of looking around. The same old lady who was kind of like, "Ooh, go see my daughter." Uh, she actually stops and she sees you with the pelt, and she goes, "Oh dear, you, you threw that into the middle of town, didn't you?" I. That was the. Well, we were the ones who caught this thing. Yeah, that would make a lovely cap for my grandson. Would you be willing to sell that to me? How much? Well, I could give you, and she kind of ruffles you, I could give you one gold piece and this. And she pulls out a very familiar glass vial. It's inside of it. What was the color? Uh, red. Oh. It is a red Ooh. liquid that you recognize. Oh, very, very nice. Uh, dude, that, that, has the, that has a value of about 101 gold. I yeah, I know. I, 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 no, I wasn't going to turn that down. Like, task kind of like folds up the thing so it's a little bit more easier for her to hold it herself and hands it to her. Alright, she hands you the bottle, which is a potion of cure wounds, which is 1d... Wait, one second. Gotta double check the potion. Uh, uh, 1d... I... Or 2d... It's 2d4 plus 2 potion. Oh, that's nice. Let me, let me double check my thing real quick. 2d4 plus 2. So, potion of healing... 2d4 plus 2. Nice. And then you also get one gold piece. Neat. All right, cool. She also pinches your little cheek, and she goes, you are such a cute little guy. And then she kind of walks away. <laughs> I did not have yeah. never met a kobold before. <laughs> Real quick. I, 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 I just met, no, now I imagine the poor old lady, like, jabs her thumb on the side of his fucking scales. Like, you're so cute. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I'm bleeding. Ah, you hit a I vein. I walk up to and Tass. fall over and dies. I walk up to Task. <laughs> Looks like you have a new fan. Hey, she was mine. Back off. It looks large, Bo. Borky wanders and saunters on over. Yeah. Looks looks like a little dragon's getting fans like Music Man is. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I got a present. Okay. All right, now. Does anyone know what magic is? I do. Yes. I task point, task points at, at panic. Oh. I, I regularly cast it. I don't know if you noticed. I thought you just played music really well. Uh, no. It, it's part of you it. You can't play music well? No. Borky, just just let it go, man. We gotta get we gotta get through this. Okay, fine. Anyway, so gave me this magic box. They told me I'm not allowed to open it. So, um... Uh... Here gives it to Panic. Uh, Panic. You Panic now have a, a small, quaint wooden box in your hand. Very. Uh, he ex made. he examines it, trying to think back on what this could be based on any arcane isms that he knows. Bardic knowledge. No. I don't knowledge. have that yet. Yeah, it doesn't so have knowledge. It yet. Knowledge oh. arcane. Which is significantly less useful. Huh. Oh! oh critical, fuck that, that's a critical roll. Yeah. As you, as yes. you are, I will let this apply to the next thing. Um, as you are looking at this box, like up and down all around, you stop and you go, oh, it's just a normal box. That's what I'm so, saying. And you, you kind of, in the back of your mind, kind of, kind of praise whoever gave Borky the box and told him it was magical because it's just a plain wooden box. Uh, um, friend. The Oh, I'm sorry. Friend, did you pay for this? Oh, no, it was free. Ah. Okay, that's better. Mm. Uh, this is just a box. Something moving around as you move the box. Uh, there is something in it, though. She told you not to open this, yes? Yeah, no, she said it. She said, I don't open it, and patted me on the head, and pushed me out of a stall. 
Uh... Task, you might want to get your bow ready. No, we we're not opening this. Mm -hmm. You uh, you see a like it's it's I'm gonna I'm gonna say with your knowledge arcana, it's not dangerous at all. This is not a dangerous thing. It's not dangerous. Like, you tell you tell you tell you tell me. Then we're opening it. <laughs> oh shit! Let me open it. Borky snatches it out of his hand. Hey, all... wait 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 wait. No. It was free. I oh, she said I can't open it, so you open it. Sorry, sorry, my bad, my bad. Was this supposed to be for anyone? No, the one who had magic. That's what they said. And she told you not to open it. No, I could not open it. I was not allowed to. That's panic. Uh, pa panic. Open the box. Let's, let's think about this for a minute. I open the box. <laughs> inside you see a rolled up piece of paper. And for your critical role, I'll also give you this. Um, the moment you see it, you know what it is. It is a magical scroll. Um, and looking at the kind of runic um, ribboning that's basically holding it together, you know that this is a scroll of Speak with Dead. Oh, 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 oh. Well, this, nice! Uh, and he kind of slaps the paper with the back of his hand. Now this, this is magical. So, this is a scroll that lets you speak with the dead, and it's mine now. Can I have the box? He tucks, he tucks it into his belt. Can I? Have, uh, can okay, I, you, you do have the you box as well. Can I have the you box? may have the box. Yes, mine. <laughs> it'll, it'll be a good box for your uh, your shiny bear. Uh, can oh, I? A box. <laughs> can I? Uh, do I have any like parchments or pens with me? Um, Did I imagine pack come with it. Books I don't have a pack. Probably not. I, I, no. I traded those in for instruments. Well, I'm going to keep this until I get some. Okay. Um. Uh, pen. So you have that now in your inventory. Yes. Panic. Do you mind if I if I study that for a few moments? Well, I was going to copy it down, but ah, great minds think alike. Then yes, uh, I don't have any uh, pens or papers. Oh, with, me. with my skills, I don't need pens or papers. Just give me a good hour with it. Snaps his <sighs> finger and it just appears out of it. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, if you're co that confident, then you may certainly take a look at it. He hands on the scroll. I take it from a sense. You've obviously never met a Kenku before, have you? Did you just steal that from me? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not that cool. But... Borky hides his precious new box he has. <laughs> but, per but perhaps knowledge of this writing might be of some use. Well, I want it back when you're done. <laughs> oh, you'll get it back. Don't worry. In usable condition. It's a bit of a warning. As you are examining, it is an old scroll it is very fragile um um I might need okay, let, me, let me lyrics. let me let me just drop out of character what i'm wanting to do i'm wanting to add okay. this to the to the list of things that i can forge for the sake of tricking people with uh with the racial perk that i have if you read the scroll it will activate so if you oh. were to read it to forge it it would activate and oh, okay. disappear so okay. that would then let me yeah. ret let me if I'm allowed to retcon everything that I've just done then because I didn't know they worked that way. I thought it was actual an invoking process. Magic scrolls um, can be made if the wizard say knows a spell and then writes it out to make a scroll. Um, so that's how you that's the only way to like make even a, like I mean you can make a fake one, but like that's the way you make magic scrolls. So upon reading it, it'll immediately activate. It's a one time use thing. You read it, it's mm -hmm. done, and it just. And just, it kind of goes read. away. So we'll let you retcon okay. that. You can you can take that back and and okay, now, now it's back know, in panic. Now, now we know. Just, we yeah, uh, the day has gone by. Um, in the back of your mind, Tass, you were losing precious day hours at this point. Um, there's nothing more in this town for you to have, and you are currently on a chase. Um, are we done here? It is time so. your target is getting further away. Uh, yep. yeah, I'm done. Are we done here? Then let's go now while we still have time. All um, right. All right. Uh, by the way, I have something for you, Task, and I hand over the five arrows. Task just nods and takes them and puts them in his quiver. Are right, we moving good. westward then? Yes, we're gonna. Uh, I let's see. I took a. I took the liberty of putting down that information in my uh, my notepad here. So uh, the next I... the next place you're going to is Everbright. Is the next location that Peyton mentioned. Uh, and there is Paladin Ray. She is uh, the yep. current leader of that location. Yep, I want to find her ASAP. 
Okay. So you guys set out into the woods, uh, leaving the town behind you. You see a few of the villagers kind of wave off. They're not used to, um, to... The unexpected? Unexpected, yeah. This was kind of a fun little venture for them, so... They, uh, they were quite interested in seeing you, interested in meeting you. Um, you guys begin to travel. Um, at this point, it's about past lunch. You guys stayed until about 12 uh, with your shopping, your investigating, um, your performing. Eh? Um, and now the sun today is pretty hot. Uh, what, um, what's, our, what's, what's the terrain like that we're traveling in? Once again, thick brush. Lots of thick brush. Okay, then I'm gonna do this. Is it, is it extra thick? Oh wow! <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You guys, you guys are walking, and, and one of you guys turns and goes, "Hey, Greg, what do you think?" Of the oh, okay, you're gone. You just disappear. You're straight up gone. He's just set so um, quickly. It's creepy. Is he even really you? here? Of course he is. <laughs> As you guys are traveling, a uh, lot more bugs on this trail. Um, not as many pine trees. Um, you see a lot more birch trees, um, more leafy sorts of trees. Um, far off distance, you see a fox kind of leap out of a bush and kind of scamper off far in the distance. Um, as you progress, you've probably traveled for about a solid four hours now. It's about four o'clock. Press forward, and um, I want Task and Borky... Mm -hmm to make a uh, a perception. Actually, no, a survival. No, knowledge nature. Do knowledge nature. Okay, okay those, all those terrified me. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, knowledge nature? So just click. No, let's do knowledge nature, yeah. Uh, oh, I have a negative one. Let's see how this works. <laughs> cool. Another one on the other one. Um, <laughs> as you guys are walking, you notice, um, well, as you're walking, the path that is just like covered in fallen leaves, and to the right of you, you see two trees, two very large trees um, that are missing every single one of the leaves that are uh, on the actual tree itself. Um, and with what knowledge of nature you have, um, you don't know what happened. Um, trees at this season, they shouldn't lose their leaves this quickly, but there they are um, scattered about as if a giant gust of wind of some kind has just ripped it off. Hmm. I want to check the. F uh, I'm not gonna really look at it from where I'm standing. I want to at least investigate the floor, the 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 roots or the the bed around this tree. See if like the grass indicates if something came from a certain direction that did this. Okay. So that'd be investigation. Uh, or... yeah, investigation. You have to you you approach the tree then. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Mike uh, Borky did not notice anything, so he can't roll anything, correct? You you, uh, you saw you the same thing I did. You can walk up to the tree too if you want to. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll also in, I guess invest. I'm rolling to investigate then. Well, at least tell Pat like Bork. Uh, he like pats Borky on the kneecap. Just tell Panic what we're doing. Oh. Uh, panic. Yes. These trees are interesting. And you're setting off to go look. These trees right. are interesting, um, apparently. I want you to roll a, uh, this would, be, this would be a perception. Yeah, roll a perception check real quick for me. Who? Fucking Christ! No. As you step towards the tree, oh. um, you walk through, a, it's up to almost your waist at this point. You're, you're walking through the leaves, then all of a sudden as you step forward, you feel the ground give out underneath you. Um, can I that? try to grab him? Can I try? Can no, he he's, he's walked off at this point. Good shit. Investigate, and as you hear that, you hear a cracking noise, and you see uh, Tass just whoop, right down into a hole. Ouch. And there are spikes at the bottom of this. You oh. run face first into spikes. Cool. I'm find some music here. Fucking awesome. Oh no! The deaths. The death music. Are we bringing this out already? Just, um, seeing just a block. Well, it was fun playing with you guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Cito. <laughs> it was really great to having you. Yep. Be fine. Uh, as you fall in, the spike, the nature of the spikes of this are very weak. They're not well. They're very crudely made. One second, I am missing a lot Real of fat. dice here. Um, I mean, we're just seeing kind of like uh, a couple of green lines on a black screen. Is that is that what we're supposed to be seeing? No, yeah. I'm seeing. This is a. It should be a black. 
I just see it complete be... black. Okay. Yeah, yeah this is uh, this is supposed to be uh, it's sort of like the lighting system of this game. Everything you can't see, you can't see. Okay. It's okay. The fog of war. Yeah. You should... All right. All right. No worries. No worries. No worries. It's good then. Uh, you take five points of piercing damage. Son of a bitch. Well, I'm almost dead. Pass. <laughs> I have six HP. Why is your HP so low? Uh, a, a few of um, the them just snap off from the weight of your body alone. A couple of them just <laughs> right through you. As this is happening, uh, the rest of you begin to hear a shrill call from the woods. All creatures rushing out of wait, wait, what, the what? nearby sorry, sorry, woods. What creatures? You, you cut, cut out. out. Uh, small creatures rushing out. Oh shit. What, what are they? Okay, perception check. What are they? Morky's trying to see what they are. I'm just gonna reveal to you here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hang on, I can fix this fog of war real quick. Boop. Right there. There we go. You guys should be able to see now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Black sheep wall. Fucking hey. Christ. Uh, would I not be in, like, here? With the cover? Yeah, yeah, you're hiding. Okay. I was, I'd, I was say, I'd say you're more right, like right in this bush here, if you were anywhere. I was, okay. I, I was, I was walking over to panic, so I'd be like halfway between them then. I, okay. yeah, you're right there. So everybody roll initiatives. All right, here we go. I gotta dig out. My oh, stuff. Fuck my, fuck my <laughs> dice roll. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, no, you rolled <laughs> very low. I'm so sorry. Wait, why is my armor class? Oh, why is wow. my armor class eleven in the the roll twenty? It was fifteen last year. Is that game. it? Yeah, it resets it for some reason. So do I delete uh, that fifth? I'll make that fifteen again. Jesus, I have no idea. All right, initial. Fifteen, yeah, yeah. I have that written down because it keeps doing that. Okay. Oh right. my god, Borky, you dumb fuck. Eh? What? Then where's my notebook? Sorry, guys. All right, so we have, whew, twenty-three. We have twenty-two for panic. We have a nine from Tass oh. and a seven from Borky. Okay. Oh. And then. Nope. Wow. All right. And then 22 from you. Oh, did our music cut out? What happened? Yeah, the music cut. Oh, no. It's, it, I think it has like a, a dead air space in between it. Or. Maybe it just did cut out. It did. I think it. There, oh no! There, there it is. There it is. Back. All right. Dead air. Alrighty. There uh, are two grekles. Yeah, there are two grekles. <laughs> there's, there's two grekles. I meant here. to grab task. I'm sorry. And then. A good initial. Good thing goal. task has that potion. That's true, chat. <laughs> sorry, she's. Yeah, sorry. you've got the uber healing potion. <laughs> yeah, but I also have a basic healing potion. I'm not gonna waste the uber on a character that has 11 HP. It's better than what I got, buddy. I can hear. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just sorry. I'm just taking a while here. Yeah, no worries, no worries. My laptop doesn't have a very good, um, I don't know the word, is aspect ratio? Yeah. All right. Uh, Greckles, you watch and you see um, as Task falls into this hole. And you begin to see um, these creatures now. We're waiting in ambush. Uh, obviously, this is a kind of trap. I'm just going to reveal the rest here. Sorry, I completely forgot. Hmm. Hmm? Oop. All right. Oh, my. <laughs> this is not looking good. Holy shit. All right. Ruh -ruh. We're being accosted. Yeah, but they're small. Um... I can't wait for Tass to fucking just rip one's head like completely 180 degrees on his neck. All I'm right. Going to, I'm gonna go ahead uh, and just ready an action to just dart anything that gets within a five foot radius of the hole that he fell into. All right. So you hold your turn. Uh, it is now your turn. Panic. Uh, does Thaumaturgy have a range on it? spell list on your character sheet and you click the spell it'll say you should it does okay i don't want to yeah so just click your spell and then that way all right in that case much better 
Can I see any of these guys? See all of them at this point. They've like jumped out like um the moment they heard the snapping sound and the trap go off, they all just leaped out of the bushes like the Power Rangers, and they're now all in like poses with weapons. Oh fuck, they're putties. Moving on. Panic is gonna point to this one he sees, and he's gonna point at him and say, The only reason God hasn't struck you down is because you amuse him somehow and cast vicious mockery. Alright. <laughs> This guy right here. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh. You thirteen wisdom saves. Yeah. Oh boy, they have a negative modifier to wisdom. No, yeah. actually. You scream it out. He begins to cry. The goblin like. <laughs> 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 and, and you can't quite make sense of what he's saying it, unless anyone here speaks goblin. Doesn't Bo Borky Borky speaks go Bork doesn't Borky speak goblin? Or did we choose? Dang. Wait, hold on. Let me just check my character. I think he speaks giant. Oh, yeah. right, I speak giant. Is goblin a language? Oh, yes. yes. Huh. Uh, as you, he weeps. You can almost you can't speak the language, but you almost swear that he's probably saying, "Oh God, it's true." <laughs> <laughs> I came here to have an ambush, and I'm feeling attacked right now. I Easily. thought we were the ones attacking you. Mm. And he takes three psychic <laughs> damage. Yeah, he's not. He's sad. Uh, Greckles, you're still holding your turn. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Um, I, I think there was an extra effect to um, vicious mockery as well. Uh, hang on, I'm checking my spell. Uh, yeah, I believe. Oh yeah, yeah, I think they get something. One second, fish. Uh, da, 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 da. How deep? But... Do, do, do we? Do I need to do a perception? And they have advantage on. And they have a disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Real, it's real, a goblin, dude. Real, real, no, real, real, real quick. Uh, do we know how deep? Sure. The, do we know how deep the pit is that uh, Task is in right now? Deep enough for no. him to disappear. Oh, I mean, he's tiny, so that's why I was asking. Um, but Task, you can do a climb check to get out. Um, Greckles, are you holding your turn again? Yeah. I'm holding okay. my turn, I'm holding my turn until anything gets within, any enemies get within a five foot reach of that hole. Climb. The idea- Yeah, so roll an athletics check for this. Fucking Christ! No, that you just hit it. You begin to climb, it's a very rocky, textured surface. Goblins aren't the best craftsmen. Um, you manage to get a foothold, and you get about halfway up the hole. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. I'm stuck between two minds, so I go set, try and pull Task out of the hole real fast with by, by, by the scruff of his neck with my giant orc hand, or do I just, like, charge at those two right in front of me? I don't know. Just charge and stomp him, honestly. He's up. I can't. Uh, you can go 40 feet. How, is, how, there so, is, no, 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 real, is there such a thing as a charge? Now, if I... Real, no, no, real, no, real fast. Sorry. Oh, I, have a okay. I have a couple questions here real fast. Now, I do have my throwing spear. What is the range of my throwing spear? And if I move, can I still throw my throwing spear? 30 to 60 feet. So, 60 feet. That's how long my throwing... My, my throwing... Spear is? Oh, yes. I wanna... Can I... If I move, do I lose the 60 feet? No. I want to move forward. I want to kind of throw my spear at the second. The second uh, goblin behind the first one feels sad. Yeah, he's actually patting his friends back. Just like, don't worry, Ted. It's fine. I'd like to roll. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and Ted. <laughs> I am gonna throw my 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 throwing spear. I'm gonna go for it. Borky pulls out his spear over his back. He's like, all right, does it, puts the axe away real fast, pulls out his b giant spear that's always been on his back that he hasn't had to use for, pulls it slowly, winds up, ugh, ugh, and throws. Oh, shit, I need to use the weapon, not the, sorry, one second. And throws. All right. No. Uh, you are so excited to throw it that you kind of it slips out of your hand a little too quick and just oh, six. Oh jeez. Borky looks around to see if anyone noticed that. I noticed <laughs> it. You should be picking up task, anyways. All right, hands. 
Do I, do, do, do I have one action or two actions per turn? No, you have. You can attack and move. Oh, yeah. uh, I attack. And you have a bonus action for certain things if you have it. Is is the is the purple where the thing landed? Yep. Forky's gonna move towards it. One, <laughs> pick it up. <laughs> All right, you, you as your bonus action, you pick it up off the ground. Shaking my, it's just, Borky's like, oh, come on, you could do better than that, man. Come on, you're supposed to throw it. You're supposed to just take his head clean off, but no, no. All right. The goblins bearing their weapons begin to charge. Heads towards you, Borky. Oh, oh. Scampering on his little goblin feet. Yeah. Sporky couldn't handle the pressure. <laughs> it's like, I swear it never happens. This one, this one with, my voice just cracked. This one with tears running out of its eyes, just like, uh -huh, <laughs> like runs towards you. I just imagine now the Luigi forward dash. <laughs> fucking, uh, like, <laughs> fucking Ichi killer trans. Yep. He's, he's going to attempt to attack you. Oh my god, he rolled a one! Oh! This is a disadvantage! He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, crying, just barely into the swing. It's just like, uh. he, he rears up to hit you, and he drops his weapon, and falls down onto his knees, and just begins to weep. He is now prone. <laughs> oh. Panic is howling. He finds much enjoyment in this. <laughs> Ah, we could take. We could probably take him prisoner at this point. <laughs> oh no! Why? No, I'll <laughs> execute this motherfucker. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, task he is... runs up. Task is ready. Um, I've got my held action. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's still his turn though. Um, you have a reaction, so you could do an attack as a reaction. That's what I would do. All so right. Can I, can I uh, you do get sneak shot? with this because he hasn't noticed you. Okay. So whoosh. Oh! Bam. It's that hits. All right, Dang. so that's no, a I... Oh, hold on a second, guys. We got a we got a porn bot in the chat. Oh boy, I fixed it. Oh, thank you very thank much, Edo. Yeah. Um. Do See I get... you later, Elena. It's not technically flanking, so I wouldn't get sneak attack, would I? Uh, you are hiding, so you get sneak attack on your first hit. So yes, this oh. applies sneak attack. So hit dart, and Ooh. then uh, roll an additional one d six. God damn. Grapple's on a roll. As task as you're climbing up, you see a goblin rear back its blade, ready to strike at you. And as a reaction, Grekel's just as quickly as he can. You see a piece of metal just fly through the goblin's skull, and it tumbles into the hole, <laughs> getting gored on the skull. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. Sasuke wins the day. <laughs> Sasuke Burb wins the day. Now, uh, just just really quick, um, reestablish hiding. Can that be like they do, do? They see me come out and do the attack. The 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 two that are coming up from the northwest. Uh, yes, they would have seen you pop out of the bush and throw out your thing. Okay. So uh, you'd have to rehide. Uh, but you have to do that on your turn. Okay. Uh, which it is now because you held it. So. Okay. So let me. And it's just a regular stealth check, right? Yeah. Rule regular stealth check. You duck right back into the bush and you just completely disappear. The goblins like, Rawr! and they're like kind of looking like at each other and they go, Rawr! where'd he go? Uh, is that is that a move action? Like a full move action to to re stealth? Action to hide. <laughs> it's a what? I'm sorry, you cut I believe out. It, it's a bo I believe it's a bonus action. I I can get it as a bonus action at level two. But so I'm right now I'm just kind of defaulting it. So I figured it was just a move action to reestablish stealth. I uh I don't know. For now, we'll say yes. I nope. can't. We I can't spend much time on this. That's I'm sorry. Fine. That's fine. That's uh, fine. we'll we'll say you're rehidden. I mean, the fact that your closest viewer has died, um, we'll say you have. Okay. Um, all right. Panic. It is now your turn. Uh, you watch as your vicious mockery has completely destroyed a goblin's life. <laughs> um. <laughs> Poor Ted. You know, like fucking, fucking Ted. I'm gonna bully this kid. No! <laughs> oh, no. Yes! I yes! Point at the goblin that's weeping on the ground and say, no. "Oh, by the way, I left my loincloth at your mother's house. I would like that back, please." Oh! Oh my God! Show me. Get a critical. Get a critical. Make his fucking head explode. <laughs> I don't think I. I don't think I can with this actually. Do it. Do it. Oh. Oh God. 
That's 12 minus 1, that's 11, it fails. <laughs> He's crying the too hard to goes... hear you. <laughs> At this point in front of Borky is like rocking back and forth. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> like... Hey, he's not- he's- yeah, no. Um... Is that all you well, want to do with your turn? he's about to die if that's- Uh, he- <laughs> He- he- he rounds it off by saying, Well, you're about to die if that's some small comfort. And, uh, gonna... Da -da -da -da. I guess I'll move... Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. Now, Moving would be wise, I think. I don't- I don't, I don't yeah. mean to metagame, but yeah. Yeah, I think I'm- I think I'm- uh, wait a minute. Uh, that's no, that's just, I, I, that's a good position. Uh, especially with what I have planned. Okay. All right. That was, that was my turn. <laughs> Ask roll another climb check. <laughs> As you're climbing, a rock slips out from under you, and you lose what you were kind of almost to the top, but you lose what progression you have. You're still in the hole. Sorry. Can I just stay in the hole for the rest of the fight? You can. You can if you want, but we do have a bunch of guys we gotta fight, so, I mean, see how we do here. <laughs> yeah, but by the time well, I get out of this fucking hole, the match is gonna be over. Well, well, I- you don't know- you might get the last kill, for all you know. Alrighty. My turn? Alrighty. Borky. I just wanna say, though, Z Zito, I love you, okay? <laughs> I'm this, sorry. This was- this was me last week. <laughs> Bor Borky, Borky just looks at this crying goblin at his feet. Just okay. Just like oh man. Borky <laughs> reaches down and picks him up and throws him at the and attempts to throw him at the goblin, the other goblin in front of him. Ooh, that's a lot of checks. That is a lot of checks. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, uh, oh, oh, is it? Is is it? Is it? Yeah. Is, is it too uh, much? You're that would be a grapple correct. check. And then that would be an improvised weapon check, um, and then which he, which he could do. He does. He, is he could do. He, you do have a, a proficiency at improvised attack. If you want to use this goblin as a weapon, <laughs> I would like to use the. I want to use the goblin as a weapon. Roll, roll an athletics check, and I'll roll a counter athletics check for this guy. <laughs> is he still at disadvantage because he's uh, on because attacks, he's... not yeah, on? That's only for that's only for attack rolls. Okay. Sixteen. Where's this guy's strength? Is... Oh, he rolled, he rolled an 18. Oh. He rolled an 18. I'm sorry. Oh, you little bitch. Okay, that's it. Borky pulls out the double handed axe and chops 10. <laughs> Swings to kill. Okay. I believe grappling is an action. No, yeah. it is? Oh, no. Yes. Fuck it. No. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's why we warned you. Well, just you. <laughs> as, he reach, <laughs> as you reach out for him, like crying, he's like crying. And then as you reach your hand out, he like slaps your hand and then like goes back to crying. He just, like, <laughs> he just doesn't want to be bothered right now. <laughs> like, don't touch me! I don't want to be touched right now! And he goes back to crying. Poor Ted. <laughs> Poor Ted, he's not having a good day. Oh my god. Uh... I'm mad- I'm actually mad now! I might fucking die because of that shit! Uh... You, uh you aren't gonna die. The goblin, how has flanking on you? Ah! Uh, you can always rage next turn. I'm gonna have to! Fucking hey, god damn on your turn if you'd like can I... it is i believe it's a bonus action to rage yep uh, can i just go rage you can go rage yeah borky just gets fucking angry that i was trying to be nice to you all right and now you uh oh god stats of raging i'll have to pull those up um all right the goblin is still gonna flank you and hit you uh he rolls a four so he <laughs> swings and he like hits like your leg, but then he realizes he's holding his his weapon the wrong way, so you get hit by like the blunt of it, and he's like, "Wait." <laughs> oh, you were serious. This guy is gonna run up to you, and he's gonna attempt to attack you. That is a thirteen. Fifteen. Four, so that's seventeen to hit. Ooh. Uh, he raging. In. Uh, so that is five. damage, hmm. which is slashing damage, which is halved to three because you're raging. So you take three damage. All right. Let's... I believe you get rage. So sixteen health. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just, sure. just going to track my health on. Like, can I keep my track of my health on my paper here, or should I do it in the actual thing here? 
Uh, no, do do it on a piece of paper. All right, cool. Because I have sixteen, so I'm down to thirteen now. Damage. All right. Yeah, All right. That ends his turn. The crying goblin is going to pathetically try to hit you. <laughs> uh, he still has disadvantage, though. <laughs> he rolled a twenty and a two. Oh man! So he has to take the disadvantage. Thank God. He has to take the disadvantage. He like he like he takes his weapon. He kind of eh, like tries to hit you, but there's no effort. He's just he's given up. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Feet looks down the hole and points down a bow at you, Task. <laughs> it's a nine. Nope. No. He fires a ping, it like clanks off the, your shoulder. It doesn't like do you any damage, but it just you hear a thunk as it lands at the bottom of the hole. This thing is ugly. It looks like a little squashed avocado face with like a kink nose, and it's got really bad teeth. Could use a dentist. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. Oh, we're going right for the dude who shoot my friend in the hole uh, with another dart. Let's see here. Where are you? Dart. There you are. Oof. Oh, yeah. No. Ah, boo. You you shoot the dart. And this goblin is wearing a little bit of armor, actually. This goblin is bigger than the other goblins. Um, looks like it might actually be the leader <laughs> of this particular Ted's troop. Your dart tink, flies off and into the woods. He's um, mine! You do break your stealth as a result. Um, you, as Task is in the, like, in the hole, so he can't see you. Wait, so, okay, so he can't see me, okay. Um, because he's not currently being flanked because Task is in the hole. Do you want to move at all, or do you want to stay where you oh, are? Um, well, if he can see me, let's see here. Uh, I've got a 30. It's Ted's big brother coming to beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ted, he's not having a good day. He's about to have a worse one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that was the 30. Okay. 25. You can go oh. one more. There we go. Thank you. There you go. And that's your turn. Uh, it is now your turn, Panic. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm going to can it with the vicious mockery for right now. Oh, my uh, God. Seeing as my friend is being accosted. Um... Being so accosted right now. We're friends, though? Yes, big guy. We are yeah, friends. buddy. Uh, Panic is going to power slide all the way over here, and he's going to cast, uh, what's it called? Thunder Wave. Oh my god. Uh, it's going to cast it in a, what is it, a 15 foot cone, and he's going to try to catch these two and not Borky in it. Excellent. What's going on? Go Pikachu. Wait, what's, what's wrong with the name? I'm trying to activate... You're casting it first level, obviously. Yeah. Have it. Wow. Wow. All right. Dang. Should not push. You're attacking this guy right here? Uh, these two. It's, he a, can oh, it's, it's, a, it's a 15 foot cone. Am I? Yeah. Not, not, uh, you see my ruler? Right. Oh. No, you're just gonna hit them. Okay, sorry, my bad. Okay, cool. Never mind. Okay. And it's a DC 15. DC 15 save. He rolled a 17. 13 damage. And he takes half damage, which comes to six. Okay, and the other one? Uh, that's goblin number five. Sorry, one second. Uh, wow. So the goblin who you've been absolutely destroying his life and dreams, <laughs> uh, just you pop his head right off the shoulder. <laughs> A fitting end. A fitting end. Kaboom! Not only that, um, the goblin who uh, attempted to strike at Borky, uh, or actually did uh, succeeded in striking Borky, uh, his friend, like as he's like dying, flies right into his head, and just basically like completely kills him too. <laughs> While they both die? 
They both died, yeah. Double kill. Wow. Ted explodes into tears. <laughs> uh, Task, it is now your turn. Borky really quickly says, That! That was cool. I want to <laughs> fucking grab this dude by the throat and choke slam him into the hole. Yeah, right, I'm out, buddy. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> that, but that is my plan. Or I can go fuck myself. Oh. Cool. Um, but he's blocking your way if you want to go that way. Well, fuck it, grab his leg. Dexterity save for him. Sorry, you, you, cut, you cut out. Oh, I'm just mumbling to myself. That is a three plus... Oh, no. Two. That's a five. You grab him. Roll a strength check. Oh, my God. Oh, good. My le actually, my... this this would be actually athletics because it's technically a grapple. Oh! Fuck you! Yeah. yeah. Oh! All right. Yeah. No, he rolled an 11. Wait, wait. Strength. Nope. Plus zero. Uh, you grab him, and you now have him grappled, uh, but you can't pull him in quite yet. Grappled. That takes your action. And the client has well, wizard movement, so. At least he can't kill you now. <laughs> <laughs> Do grapple checks work the same way in this as it did with like three and three point five, where it's like a back no. and forth? Okay, I'm fucking no. bitter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's more like a counter of like it's like the way I read it, and I may I hope I read it right, and oh boy, we're doing this online, so I. <laughs> um... <laughs> The way I read it is that you do counter athletics roll and there's penalties if there's a size difference. Um, mm. That way it's quicker, more streamlined, which thank God, because this would take forever. Yeah. Um, Borky, it's now your turn. You are in a rage at this point. I am? Oh, I'm quite mad. Borky moves in to flank behind the goblin. And he's going to whip out... Uh, he's going to whip out his... I don't know if you... Wait, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can if it's focused on you. Oh, never mind then. Fine. I'm just I'm just walking right behind. You can if he's moving away from it, it would get an attack of opportunity. Moving into the guy. So now I'm <laughs> Borky's gonna use his great axe and swing right down on this bastard. All right. Great axe with. Hit. That Ooh. hits. Wow. Okay. So this is right. Shit. So that. Roll damage. Plus two. Six plus two. That's eight. So which go. Uh, yeah, you take your axe, you lift it up, and you like you bring it down, and it goes right between his legs. And then suddenly, one half of the goblin falls backwards, the other half of the goblin falls forwards. You cleave him nice. clean into. Ooh. Borky just does. There's a pose. not even enough time for it to realize what's going on. Borky just kind of does uh, a Randy Orton this pose. This goblin is going to attempt to break. <laughs> break your grapple. Uh task okay and that's a 10 so you need to roll a uh, athletics check fucking christ he kicks your hand off um <sighs> so he can't do anything else for his turn bird you must help him <laughs> i'm in range no oh, yeah all right uh toss another dart okay Boom! Ooh. Oh! Nice. Critical hit. That's a crit for a dart. Uh, it's... Should I roll damage? Oh, it's a... Um, it's a Has. D4. It's a, yeah, it's a D4 weapon. Alright, so roll your damage. <whistles> roll an additional D4. Oh, there you are. So that's... Seven, eight. that's eight. Uh, you right through his shoulder, but he's still standing. This is a very resilient goblin. He has seen his fair share of battle based off of the scars he has on his face. Mm. Um, but he, he, like, he hits and he turns to you and he just bears these ugly, yellow, grotesque teeth and kind of snarls at you. I sn I'll, I'll sneer at him and draw both my short swords. I'll at him. In bird fashion. <laughs> um. Let's, uh, just really quick. I'm just checking distances and things. Mm -hmm. Uh, 30, 30, 30. Let's. Now that I got him good and pissed, I'm just going to go over here. 
but I want to make sure I, I do have both swords drawn so I can get that plus one AC, because I know he's pissed. I like someone in the chat said, use the scroll to apologize to Ted. He's fucking dead, man. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Ted. Ted, what's he Ted? Ted what's more? He's beyond dead. He's a puddle. <laughs> Tasket is now your turn. Uh, you are currently at the lip of the hole. You're at the lip. The lip, Brian. Is, I'm, going, is it I'm, going for, I'm going for this guy's... Uh, is it my turn? Yeah. yeah. Greco, oh. Greco's just went. Didn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, you... Greco. Greckles went, Greckles threw a dart. So what? now it's Tasks' turn. Oh no, it. Wait, the turn order seems no. out of sync. Yeah, oh. no, it, it's uh, Panic's turn. Yeah. Panic's turn, I'm so sorry. I messed that up. No, you're not allowed to it turn go, it the go, corner. You make it, goes, it goes, it goes, <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in the bad boy corner. I thought it goes, uh, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, Panic and uh, Borky, right? And to extend my timeout time, I'm going to point at this guy. And I'm going, I'm, I'm going to point at this guy. And I'm going okay. to say, hey. You see this puddle? That was your friend's. And I'm going to do that to you if you don't pull my friend out of that hole. Vicious mockery. Hey. How many times can you cast that? It's a cantrip. I can cast it as many times as I want. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Wow. <laughs> um, wow. So, this is <laughs> Um... As he looks at you, he looks at the puddles that were once his friends and his best friend Ted, who he called dearly. Yeah, no, I um, thought Ted was so They nice. were part of the crochet club, and they were they were tight, as oh, tight man. as their crochet. Um, he looks, he reaches down at... I'm going to do a real strength check for him. If, yeah, he lifts you up. Uh, he lifts Task out of the hole, pats you on the shoulder, Task, and like Assassin's Creed, Ezio falls into the trap. <laughs> <laughs> And goodbye. Makes you wonder why he just didn't do that to stop. Asshole. That okay, are we out? And a cracking noise. And Tess, as you look down in the hole, you see the goblin impaled on all the various spikes that they've laid out in multiple traps. I'm going to mark the traps. Uh, I'm going to basically say that you guys look at them. Just for the sake of this fight. Choke. And then panic dabs. <laughs> <laughs> God. Boy, right. what was that? You just did a thing. You pointed it up. See it. You... I'm trying to come up with a name for it. It's, uh, it's, uh, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. But it's, it's something I do when I do cool things. But you're like you're pointing at something, but you're not looking at it. You're looking at your, your all right. Your pit. While 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 they're chatting away, I'm just gonna get my <laughs> grappling hook out, attach it to something sturdy, and throw the rope down to Task. Task is already out of the hole. Yeah. He got out. Oh, okay. okay. No, you no no. Way. You continue to do that. I want whatever the fuck was on that guy's body. Okay. Well, never mind. I'm just gonna make sure he's okay. So we. I, I'm, I'm saying. All right. I'm guessing we I, we no, loot. I'm, I'm, we loot. Oh, yeah, I want to loot this mother. I want to loot this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, Task. As you loot him, you find uh, two things of interest. You find a perfume bottle, uh, half filled with a purple lilac colored perfume, in a lovely crystal bottle. Mm, nice. uh, you also find what looks like a map, but it's not a map of this area. Um, looking at it closely, you're able to discern that it is a potentially a treasure map of some sort. But because there's no real map of this region, um, it's useless at the moment. Um, Borky, Borky loots Ted. Uh, on left. Ted, on Ted, you find um, the remnants of crochet. Um, <laughs> the remnants of crochet. <laughs> uh, it's basically trash. You can't use yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's also horrible because it's made by a goblin. I'm oh. not being racist. It's just the truth. It's, it's, um, it's a scouse racist. Between uh, and Ted, you find five gold pieces, and you find a very shiny piece of blue quartz. Ooh, I put it in my shiny box. All right. Blue. Okay. You put it in your box. Blue <laughs> quartz. Right, and uh, five. I found five gold. And you find five five gold. Yep. And eighteen. All right, cool. In the shiny box it goes. All right. How hidden? How hidden is he in doing all this? A perception check. For me or what? What's up? No, no, no. no. I see nothing. Uh, Greckles. 
Yeah, you're you're too busy looking at the handiwork of the goblin that he did upon himself, and also you're kind of looking very nervously towards Panic at the moment. Um, he seems a lot scarier than upon first meeting him. Um, he's worth keeping an eye out on, I think. I am the source of evil depression. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> cool. Oh god. Panic high fives, Borky. But it really, um, hurt, really, really hurts Panic's hands. Oh shit! Yeah. Since, okay, <laughs> since we know, oh, my, the, since my we know where, since we know where the other traps are, I'd like to go investigate both of them safely to see if there are any other impaled victims. Like we, uh... Uh, as you look into the traps, there's nothing. Um, okay. These were probably set early morning. The 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 leaves are still fresh, so they obviously ripped all the leaves off the tree, put put it on top of these traps, and laid them out randomly. Um, um, Real, real, you are the first victims to real, fall. Real quick question: uh, We had we had killed five goblins. We searched three of them. Can we search the other two now, as well? The other dead ones. Uh, Ted's. Uh, that's from all the goblins that you searched. Oh, I, I took all the money then. Oops, my. Oh, oh. Uh, from from all of them, you found five gold pieces, and off of um, the one that was behind you, you found the blue quartz. Oh, I'm, those so. are those are all mine now. It's good. You 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 yeah. like it. Hey, uh, Borky, what did you find on those goblins? Oh, you know. Crochet, um, blood. Don't know if he looted them or not. Lot, You're, lot, you don't know. Lot of blood, lot, of, lot of blood. Just blood, oh. just tons of blood. Can I do a perception check to check that he's lying? That's, that would be insight. That he looted insight. anything. Greckles, can you guys hear me? Hello. Yeah, we, yeah can, we, can, we can hear you. Okay, Greckles, you don't know that he looted them at all. Yeah. You have no idea. You failed your perception check, so you don't know at all. Ah. Uh. Nice try. Looking. Nice try. Yep. So you don't you don't get to do a check at all. You don't know. <laughs> Sorry. But well, I guess I guess I guess the natural instinct would be to look at the other corpses to see if they had anything on them. You pawn them over and you find you find ugly crochet and you find um, some gross goblin weapons, some really gross uh, armor, but nope, nothing. Borky I mean, whistles. They're goblins. You've met goblins before. They don't usually carry Bork a whole lot. Borky whistles and walks away. <laughs> be Taka, be careful what you say, because I will take advantage of that. <laughs> We're having fun. All right. We're having fun. We're trying to have fun. We're having a you're lot of fun. You're breaking character right now, Gaijin. I'm really, I'm really not. Mike, As you guys... Mike, can I call you Mike? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, go ahead. As you guys are done, um, the sun is sort of beginning to set. Um... You've got a little bit of daytime left to keep traveling. Yeah. Um, so you guys press on forward. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Borky eats a delicious. Okay. Borky eats a delicious macaroon. I'm sorry, I'm I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of what just happened. It's going to be an amazing song title. Explodes into tears. Oh my god. You could have called it a tear explosion. Tear explosion. Yeah, See, yeah, that's good. Like yeah, that's guys. good. That's good. Right, that's the best. As we, before, as a DM, I need to ask a quick question here, um, just so I have mm. it. When you guys were at Abacus's, did you you guys all took candy? Did you eat it immediately, or did any of you guys pocket it? Uh, I pocketed panic, it. Panic did not eat his. I may have had one or two. Right. And you ate it. I ate a lot of it here. Okay. Uh, oh wait, I didn't actually take any at all. I think I just left it in the bowl. Just to get. Okay. I took it. I took still one. in my pocket. Freckles? I still have my one piece in my pocket. Four Note of items. Um, all right, so you guys press on. Um, this, as the sun sets, the temperature gets a lot more humid, weirdly enough. There's a bit of a, a cold chill to the air. Um, but as you press forward, you see... Um, a in the distance, um, something sticking out of the forest uh, above the trees. Uh, I Borky would like to jump up a tree and climb a tree and go and, and see what that is because Borky sees it. I'm hearing a sigh. Is that bad? <laughs> you got no. more checks to make. Oh no, it was clear my throat. Uh, you... Oh okay. Uh, uh, Greckles, you just <laughs> right into the bushes again. Borky mm -hmm. starts climbing a tree. Athletic. Oh. <clears throat> to climb the tree and as you climb it your weight um, especially the trees around this particular area they just won't hold your weight um, oh. trees snap they, these aren't those big hardy pine trees that can handle an orc these are small 
trees that um, can handle a goblin. Oh. I, uh, I, I give a little chuckle and, and agree that that's a good idea. Okay. Uh, you manage to, uh, using Gork, uh, Borky's head again, you manage to leap up Borky, leap onto a branch, and scamper up to the top. Borky lets go of the tree, thus, thus flipping it like a giant. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Cattle pulling him. Go ahead. I'm joking. Uh, perception check. Oof. Oof. Uh, you, as you were in the bushes and then suddenly came out, you have a lot of leaves stuck in your garb at the moment, and currently a few of them are, like, poking you in the eye, and you just kind of, you can't really see. Okay. I'll just climb back down and, uh, jump back in. You managed to pull the, the leaves and things from, from what was in front of your face and kind of rub and get a little bit of a scratch, but you're fine. Alright, I'll just head down and just jump back in then. Alright, you dive like Scrooge McDuck back into the bushes. It's funnier because you're a bird. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, real, right. real quick. You guys keep going forward. Real quick. Um, can uh, yep. can minor illusion create things like obscuring mists? There's a spell for that. Yeah. I know, but. <clears throat> minor illusion is like you can make a pimple on your face or you can like make something a different color, like slightly. Uh... It's a very limited spell. Yeah. All right. Never mind. Uh, you guys keep pressing on forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you guys walk for what feels like about uh, probably 20 minutes. And as you do, you realize that thing you saw over the trees uh, was actually a roof of a house. Um, the canopy of trees um, leads you into what is a uh, village, uh, a bigger village, bigger than... Um, Wolf's Den, quite bigger than Wolf's Den. There's probably about 12 buildings here, including one very large one, which you recognize as an inn. Uh, there are also um, a lot of people uh, walking around in, in the city square, and in the middle of it, you see a large statue with the sim like, a carved uh, statue of a person uh, holding a blade at, at rest, um, proud and un noble looking in the center of this town. Hmm. Uh, this is the first town to the west. I am assuming this is ever bright. Well, we made it here in good time. Indeed. I should probably look for this uh, this paladin, this ray. Actually, real quick, um, a task. What? How you doing? Fucking peachy. I just know that you're bleeding a little red right now. He's gonna be okay. Let me get. Let's let's fix. Let's focus on the task at hand. Ah! <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> uh, that was not, that was not meant to be a pun, but no, he's not. He's not answering to that. He's just like, no, let's just keep going. All right. I'm nervous. Hey, this, look! It... It's a big guy with a sword. It's weird. Uh, killed the chat. Where did everybody go? Hello? Oh, uh, we're still here. I'm still here. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm still here. So, what do you guys do? You enter into town. No one seems to take notice of you. They seem to be kind of busy. Mm. Um, some forlorn faces. But a, a general neutral sort of demeanor to the town. Hmm. I feel like, I feel like we stick out like a sore thumb, but we don't. It's weird. What time is it? Like, how how late in the evening is it? Like, 6 o'clock. Mm. Time for bed. 6, 6.30. Our, our farmers who are, like, rushing animals and, like, teenagers kind of hanging about talking with each other. Task isn't waiting. Find the nearest person. Excuse me. Uh, alright, you walk up and you see uh, a, young, a young man, probably early 20s. He kind of looks down at you and he jumps a little bit and he goes, The hell are you? I'm looking for a paladin. Paladin? Someone just died, I think, in the chat. Yeah, it was it was Connor. We lost Senile Snake. No! I'm sorry, Snake. I got I got I got pulled away for a second. Um, Monty, what did you say was in the middle of town when we first walked in? Statue of a Hello? very honorable looking man. Hello, there Connor. Uh, hey, um, my internet died. Okay, well now you're back. That's the important thing. 
Well, I'm on my phone right now. Oh, you oh, are? No. Okay, don't yeah. worry, we're just in um, town, so. Alright, yeah, um, I'm assuming all, uh, Monty has access to my sheet for rolls oh, and stuff. Yeah, I can do that for you. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna adjust your sound real fast here, and we'll continue on. Okay, sorry, Monty, what, what were you saying? Uh... Looking man wielding what looks like a claymore, but it's facing downwards, and he's like standing at guard. And it's a very large statue, and it's definitely like a monolith in the middle of this town. And it's completely intact. Yeah, it's completely intact. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm sorry. Let's let's continue on with what task was. Uh, right. You were talking with the boy. Uh, he looks down at you. He looks on. He goes, "Oh, you're looking for paladin." Apparently something of a town hero. We came over from the town over to the uh, town over to the east. The uh, the young man kind of looks at you. And he he kind of juts his head and goes, "Follow me." Ten suppose he jumps down and he walks over. He walks over to the statue, and as you walk over, uh, you notice some of the dirt around the statue uh, appears to be fresh. -er. Oh. And he looks down at the pile of dirt and he nudges his head and he goes, "There's your paladin." Oh. oh shit! Oh, that don't means kill me. the... No, it's a pile of. Oh shit! Wow. Um, was, was, it a was it a cloaked? Was it a cloaked? Was it a cloaked being uh, with a giant claymore? <sighs> the, the kid kind of looks around. He goes, "No, Ray came out like yesterday morning, and she told us all to stay inside. She said uh, a thing was coming. She, she's got a sense for that, you know, evil things." I see it through the hazy window, just the, the form of it. She fought it. It was, God, it, the battle was almost an hour long, and she just kept going and going. Do you, do you know anyone who may have seen uh, this creature apart from her? And he, uh... It, oh, that, that would be Marvin. He, he, he... He said he watched the whole thing. Where's Marvin? In the tavern. Where's this tavern? It's the biggest building in town. And he points to the large building. Go to the biggest uh, building in town. Thank you, young man. Let me do, let, can no. I do a quick investigation check on the statue just to see if there are any other clues besides the fresh dirt? More if you're talking, we can't hear you. It's, oh, it's I am it's, talking. It's, I said yes. Yes, it's, you can. It's Monty, by the way. Oh, Monty, sorry. Morty. 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 Uh, yeah. As as you look around, you can tell that this grave is very new. Um, it's very plain. Um, you can also see, no matter how many people have gone through this area, footprints gone, but you see those large, deep gashes that you saw in Wolf's Den. Oh, it's no, in, blood. And around, in and around the statue. Yep. Oh, sorry, you said something about blood. There's, you can see dark stains of dried blood. Oh boy, oh boy. On the, Can't wait to tell you guys this in character. Um, on the, on the, so the blood is actually on the sword of the statue in the middle of town? No, 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 no. It's on the ground. Like, it's on the ground. Where these deep gashes are from the sword of the thing. I use quotation marks. Okay. Alrighty. Battle with with Peyton Black. This one, the scene of the battle, has blood on the ground. Oh, I'm sorry, you cut out a little bit. Oh, uh, unlike the battle with Peyton Black in Wolfsten, there's actually blood on the ground in this scene, in in this area where you presume the fight took place. Mm. All right. Uh, am, <clears throat> where, where am I in relation to this? Uh, panic. Yeah. Uh, you're with the group. You're following them. Uh, uh, I wonder if it would be in poor taste to dig up the grave. <laughs> no! No, would, see? Would... Hang on. Huh. I have a scroll of Speak with Dead, yeah. remember? Yeah, no, I was thinking about that, too. I'm like, excellent. I'm glad he thought of it. No, no, I thought of that, too, but you're going to need a lot of permission for that. Well, hey, so... I'm a bard. Getting permission okay. for things I have no right doing is what I do. Yeah. Go well. Let's I was just about to say, don't start digging. Let's head. Let's head. <laughs> let's head into the tavern. Yeah, probably gonna do All that right. first. 
you guys collect things, take one final glance at the grave, and then head towards the tavern, which um, at this time of night is pretty busy. Um, a lot of these folk be appear to be uh, fishermen, mostly fishermen, a um, couple farmers, probably just for local produce, um, and uh, a few, are we you right know, other sorts. Are we near the ocean or a big lake? Nadine? Uh, you don't know. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say. Alright. You step in. People are getting served drinks, food, all sorts of things. This isn't as party central as the outer tent district tavern, but it is still not bad. It's rustic, it's warm. It's all you really need. Anyone playing cards? This is not a betting town. Um, this sorts of towns you assume wouldn't have a whole lot of money to bet. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm. Going right up to the bartender. All right. Morky follows. Hey, hey Mac. Actually, it's a woman. A uh, very slender woman. Uh, blonde hair tied up tightly in a bun, apron. And she goes, you must be cheese. <laughs> Panic starts I, laughing. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm looking for uh, uh, well, not even cutting to the fucking chase. Don't even not given any fucking which way to comedy. I'm looking for Marvin. Uh, Marvin, he's in a seat in the corner. She points to an elderly looking man with a long gray beard, who's currently kind of skimming through. Uh, a, it looks like a stew of some kind. Excuse me, miss. Obl obliged. Mm. As Bork, as as he leaves, Borky just leans in. His name's actually Chase. Has he been lying? Gives you a laugh. Has he been lying? <laughs> she... Is he? Is this man sitting alone? Yeah, he's sitting by himself. Morky Mind wanders... if I join you? Morky wanders over to and just kind of stands behind Task. The uh, the man. Okay, you guys are all together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I assume at this point panic is as well. Uh, Connor, come back. Um, first, kind of thinking that the voice came from Borky. And then he looks down at you, and he's kind of like, oh, he's like, um, can I help you? We heard you saw a fight. And he puts down his spoon, and he leans like, I don't know what you're here for, your types, but whatever it is, you can keep walking. Fucking slam my hand on the table. You saw a fight that took down a paladin. Roll that intimidation check, I guess. Wait. Yep. I'm sorry. Task just got fucking bunch of spikes in his chest. He's kind of bleeding. He wants his answers. He's done with today. <laughs> I think you gotta roll an intimidate. Are you? Oh. Uh -oh. oh. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Boy. The man looks at you and he kind of chuckles under his breath and he looks up at you, Borky. You're going to hate me, Zito. I'm so sorry. He looks up at you, Borky. He says, you should probably put a leash on your pet. Borky. Pulling out the no. fucking spear. No, 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 no. no. Hold on, hold on. Borky. Does, Borky. Panic, does Panic hear this? No, 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 no. Hold on. Okay, can I do my thing? Can I do my thing real faster? Borky. Yeah, at, Panic, at, panic at, hears it. Real fast. Uh, as, as Task kind of gets up and angry, Borky pushes him down and leans forward. My friend asks you a question. Says it very loudly. Borky's gonna roll for, roll for intimidation. All right. Uh, you get something below five. I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. <laughs> I have I have extra like roll. There you go. Twenty one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, no, he's he uh he looks at you, which at this point, Tass, you're kind of like punching your fist. Just I'm gonna kill him. Um, he looks up at the intimidating giant orc who is now bearing down on him. He goes, okay, 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 okay. Just, all right. Borky's I just don't want no necromancers going around Ray's grave and doing nothing. That's a good thing we didn't have, uh, Paddock do that fucking spell then. It's still on the table though, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would I'm like sorry, to I... I would like to speak to the spirit. That is the most metal thing I can think of right now. <laughs> Um, the man looks, like, side to side, and you, you notice as you, as Borky raised your voice, everyone went to, like, a shush, and then, like, looked, and then, uh, as he kind of collects himself, everyone kind of goes back to him, but they're kind of whispering, so they're staring daggers at you guys, and even some people are kind of sitting in and listening to this, 
And he goes, yeah, I saw the fight. Didn't get a very good view of it, but no one did. Ray told us not to look at the damn thing. Said we'd be cursed if we did. And yet you did. Because apparently, from what I was told, you're the only person who looked at this fight the most. I'm old. I can risk it. Well then, what did you see? Thing. Like, its hair, it had hair on its head, and if anything, if I could compare it to anything I've ever seen, it was like a, a giant. You ever, you ever see a giant before? Yeah. I hear there's fire ones to the south, but this ain't like a fire one. It's just like a, a big man. Body. I hate... Oh. I hate to ask such a silly question, but did it have both its legs? Yeah, it had one, but the other one it had, it was... Oh, it wasn't there. Like, it was there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, I'm yes, completely lost. Explain. A phantom limb? You could see through it. It's like a there is this... A ghost leg? Yeah, like a ghost, but... Oh. It's arm, too. One of its arms was like that as well. Whoa. But the rest of it was some sort of thing, like a... Like a shambling... Giant thing. All right. Well, we got a little bit more information than we did last time. This thing's fucking part ethereal. And it had a thing on its head. That too. What kind what? of thing? Like a crown of some kind. But it was like all rusted and banged up, and it had a a, a thing on its shoulder, and it had sockets in it. You know, like like you put a necklace, you put gems in a necklace. Except one with this with this dark maroon crystal. Oh my I don't God. know what it was, but it had to be worth a fortune. Oh fucking Christ. What else did it do? If anything. It, it beheaded Ray. It fought with her. It was more like watching a marionette dance. And then, after Ray just exhausted herself, it just took that blade brought it down, cut her head clean off, and then it grabbed it and put it in a bag. The head? Just like that. Mm. Yeah, he took her head. Its motivations were different. It's... Uh, it... As you hear this as well, Panic, uh, you realize with the uh, Speak With Dead, uh, it won't work because the target of the Speak With Dead must have a movable jaw or mouth in order to speak with. <laughs> and her head is gone. That would be awkward. <laughs> uh, so what can you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> so this, it seems like this thing's motivation was different than in the last town. It clearly is doing, it clearly has a plan. It is not attacking and kidnapping at random. So it's clearly doing I'll go a question. I'll go, I'll go a question. First town took a little girl. This town took a girl's head. Where'd it go? I, I I don't know about this thing's intentions. Ray fights evil until her last dying breath. That's a paladin for you right there. I mean, I mean, if this thing's evil, a paladin, I mean, they would want to kill that, right? And a few of the bartenders go, yeah, yeah, and kind of join in. Did you see any, now I know this sounds strange. But did you see any red smoke emanating from its body or anything near it? Yeah. Those 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 limbs I told you about, they were just wafting all that stuff around, coming out of its eyes, cracks in its skin, scars, things like that. Couldn't barely move a muscle as I watched it. How they did it Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. How did it fight? Did it use the sword or did it cast any spells just use the sword so slow too at first we thought ray would have an easy hand of it but the more she hit it well you cut out sorry it's like well ray hit it but it didn't like do anything it seemed i mean it it cried out but it just got back up and kept swinging hmm. how big was it 
a good 10, 12 feet tall. Holy cross, that's big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but a great god, Morky, that's enormous. Task panic, any thoughts? I have thoughts too, you can ask me. Borky, do you have any thoughts? Big as hell. Thank you, Borky. <laughs> Task, panic, do you have any thoughts? Uh. Well, the fact this that. This thing, it... Uh, if, if it Paladin knew it was coming, it had to be some kind of undead, I would think, with the way it was described, kept getting up after being knocked down. Uh. Or it was a some malevolent creature, maybe a demon of some sort. I'm starting to wonder if something else is pulling the strings around here. The blacksmith told me that he believed that there was some force in the woods that might be controlling whatever it is we're trying to chase down. Uh, they said there were forest folk. I, I don't know if they meant druids or what, but uh, in my mind, they don't seem like the kind of people that would summon an undead to do their dirty work. I know no, something that might, the old man says. And what is that? There's this thing. Comes around the village. Only Ray can seem to chase it off. Big guy. Same height as the one we're talking about. Maybe they're in cahoots. You cut out just at the beginning. Oh. There's a big thing. Comes around the village. It's in cahoots, I think, maybe. Ray's the only thing that could scare it off. So maybe it was tired of Ray defending the village and decided to bring something else in. That's my thought. What was it? Any... Was it? Do any points towards Borky? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, real fast. Uh, you're cutting out a lot, Nadine. Uh, so ah, jeez. Okay. Sorry. You're, it's every time um, right now. It's every time. So I need you to just like, like. Joss, I'm just gonna fix. I'm gonna. There we go. How do I sound now? Am I okay? Yeah, you sound fine. Sorry. Okay. okay, I just shifted the wire around. Okay, I had to get a new you, microphone. You, you, you were going to say something, uh, Zito. Go for it. I wasn't done, but... <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, let it, let it continue. Uh, she points, and you asked what it looked like, and she points to you, Borky, and she goes... Uh, he goes, sorry. He goes, look just like him, only bigger, scarier, angrier. Attacks us every so often. Only Ray can seem to fend it off. I don't know Big nothing. And big and green like him are you saying it was an orc i don't know what an orc is I assume it's like him but he seems like a civilized folk the other thing just attacks our shipments and well ray's there she kinds of keep tends to keep it away from us but uh oh shit we're fighting gold dan <laughs> i'm just happy so so, i'm just happy you said i look civilized i've been really working on it the very least you can talk. Yeah, I can. If it was bigger than me. What time? What time of day does it usually come out? Did you mm. say at night? Thing. After that thing came through and killed Ray, that thing's been coming by, God, almost every day now. Trying to dig up that hole we buried her in. Ah. We're worried about it. Well, gentlemen, it sounds like we have bait for a trap. Mm. No, no, no. And he raised the hand. He points to you. He's like, you're not having another fight in this town. That's the last thing we need. If you want to fight this thing, you go find it. Well, sir, given the fact that you don't know where it is, the other town doesn't know where it is, and I suspect no one in this town knows where it and is. And also a little girl's safety is at stake. It's a little, it's a wee little I, one. I, I know where it is. What? There's a pathway past a mage's tower. The thing goes through there all the time. We lay out bear traps and things like that to stop it, but it doesn't stop it. Leads up the mountain. Ray goes up there to pray every once in a while. You know, she's the way she is. She didn't care. And if we follow it, we could probably find the girl as well. Mm. But we'll have to be prepared for it. Mm. If a if if a paladin couldn't take it down, I start I'm starting to wonder if we could. No, oh, we're not going to find out if we don't try. No, we're The nature not. of this thing seems suspect to me. Suspect to everyone. I suggest we come up with some sort of plan. Well, I got an idea. Do tell. We got lots of rope. Right. Right. That thing's big, right? 
big. Right. The problem is something about big, uh, me, when little things come at me, I gotta swing down at them, right? It's got chop, 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 like all those chops, like how it was chopping up all the areas right there, right? Because I was smacking something smaller than it. What if we bring it down to our level? We we'll bring it down to its knees. We tie it down. Are you, are you suggesting a trap similar to what we just encountered? Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> oh, Borky, what? you are so incorrigible. What, what do you it think, Task? Work. You, you have experience being in traps. <laughs> I mean, he's not lying. Grekel says nothing. They did say that they did set traps for a bear traps and stuff like that. Is that silly question? Stop is, it. Is Zito, Zito, are you there, man? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, is everything okay, man? <laughs> Continue. Okay. The, uh, the old man, he gets up and he goes, you can do whatever you want, just don't let it into town. We don't want any more, anyone else pawing through Ray's grave, much less we bring the wrath of her god upon our village. Uh, what was her god? Her god's name... Was Avin. He's the god of valor and justice and mountains. It's a weird thing to be a god of. Little town. I'm sure you saw it with the big sword. Oh, that was it. Hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a Avon right there. Hmm. Well, gentlemen, I suppose we should turn in for the night and reconvene tomorrow and figure out what exactly we're gonna do. All right. Is there a stage in this tavern? Uh, no. Tiny no. tavern, no stage. Damn. Uh, for the sake for the sake of speed, I'm just gonna say, uh, you guys turn in for the evening. Uh, rooms are one gold piece. Uh, for those of you who took damage, you heal completely. Yeah. Um, you even get complimentary breakfast, so you don't uh, oh, write off a ration. Continental. <laughs> oh, you get a plate. I don't, yeah. Um, and then Dawn awakens the town as you exit the inn uh, is, is bustling. It's pretty busy. Um, a lot of people heading westward, actually, um, with fishing poles, nets, and rods. Good morning, everyone. Oh, good morning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you find it annoying. Gotta do my thing. Can you do it outside? Vorky holding his breath walks outside. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking waddles out. <laughs> Panic follows him. It's time to get Orky. Cause I am Vorky. <laughs> and Panic plays a guitar solo behind him. The townsfolk all stop and look at this, and then they just kind of shake their heads and keep moving. <laughs> what the fuck? And then they just keep going. <laughs> Borky comes back in. Uh, you guys are actually outside before, but that's okay. Uh, you guys are inside now. Oh. You is the woman from the night before, the barmaid, and she's not... She's just doing dishes. The bar itself isn't open. Everyone, everyone's mic just went muted. No, I'm fine. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm back. Oh, okay. No worries, no worries, no worries. Yeah, just doing stuff. Well, did yeah. anyone have a better idea besides from Borky's pit trap? Uh, this thing doesn't use magic. So my ring would be useless against it. Okay, quick question, just for the room. Um, sorry. Now, there's two things we're fighting it. One's big... And magical and makes magic smoke or something, right? Based on how I'll be fucked. Okay. And the other one is big 
doesn't make magic smoke and wants the lady's corpse. That is the gist of it. All right, cool. I'm all caught up. Okay, so one of them uses magic. The other one does not. Mm. We don't know what this magic does. Well, I think the next step would be to try and find whatever this other big thing is. And if it can communicate, figure out what its plan is. There were three villages to the west, yes? Hmm. Uh, yeah, to your knowledge. Are we sure there's not a third one? What do you mean? Maybe the, they each hit a single village. It's true, there is, there is Dragon Stake and Briar's Glen, but... I feel as though we need to take advantage of the information we've been given here and figure out this where this other big thing is. It's obvious it's going to be back, and this town is already unprotected as it is. Mm. Granted, I am not one to stick my neck out for other people, but I think we're given us we're, we've been given an opportunity. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Is no one audited by the fact that the guy said that there's a fucking mage tower near the town? That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Should we make that our next destination? What, what would it matter? I would highly suggest it. What would it matter if there's a bunch of mages? Oh, uh, boy. What? Just pats him on the shoulder. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Okay, so mm -hmm. here's the thing. The creature that we're trying to find originally has pieces of it missing and ethereal. Hmm. This thing is capturing other people or taking body parts of other people and is probably being puppeted by something else that is holding it by magic because I can't imagine a creature would have this much fucking strength, this much agile, and this much cunning to be able to do all this stuff without having some kind of magical aid behind it. Someone is building someone is building something by collecting parts of chosen uh, chosen people. This feels like a homunculus or something. I would agree. Yeah. So and so now we're sit now this other thing might be I don't believe that this other creature that the townsfolk have problems with is the same sort of entity or cahoots. Because if this thing just has a grievance with the town's paladin because it kept chasing it away, why not just give it the body and be done with so we could just go off on its merry fucking way? Now, granted, that can open up a lot of other problems in the future for this town, but that's not what we're here for. I think our next destination lies with merely just investigating these mages to the north. Yeah. It's actually in the town. The actual mage tower is, like, right in the town. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. as I said, we should go to the mage tower. All right. All right. You guys head towards the mage tower. Yeah, lead the way. Out, uh, you reach up. It's a tower using quotation marks. It's not very tall, uh, but it is taller than the other buildings in the town. Uh, it's got a nice blue tiled roof, uh, white, dirty ivy crawling up around the side, and there's a long railed staircase, wooden staircase that leads up to the front door. Um, and there's a candelabra hanging right above. Just like no one seems to notice you, uh, and you, you go right up to the front door, I assume. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, panic knocks on the door. That's a good idea. You're the most charismatic. Uh, as you knock on the door, you hear, like, a crashing noise. <laughs> and as you look, you hear a poof, and you see magic, arcane energy blast from both the windows. And you hear uh, an ocean of swearing and just like, Oh, no, damn, oh, oh. Hey, and what do you know? At, this thing is magic. Uh, the door opens, and you're met with a currently covered in blue arcane energy. It's kind of wiping it off with a towel. A young man, probably no older than, like, 20. He is young. He's got brown hair, kind of, uh, kind of scruffy, shaggy all over the place. Uh, and a set of glasses sits resting on his nose. Um, he kind of coughs. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, uh, whoa, uh, uh hi. Yes, he kind of looks at you all. 
Kind of scared. Uh, my name is Panic Grimtongue, and these are my friends Task, Greckles, and Borky. Uh, we are here investigating the uh, the happenings in this town. Uh, we had hoped maybe you could enlighten us. I told the villagers I make potions. I don't know about things like griffins and whatever it is else they find. <sighs> come inside, come inside, and he opens up the door and he lets you in. Walk in. Yeah. Pretty decent little clean place. There's a, a lot of plants and like pots resting um, in certain parts of the uh, of the um the the basically the uh, half greenhouse, half tower. Um, and he wipes his hands and sits over and he goes, all right, you can take a, take a seat if you'd like, I guess. I don't get that many people. I only have three chairs. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll just, uh, I'll just meander around the room, actually. Bor uh, all right. Bor Borky wants to, Borky is just amazed by all this stuff. Like, he's never been in a mage's room like this before. Just, like, all the potions and everything, all these different colors. He thinks it's amazing. Can you roll a perception check? Because he wants to look at stuff. Am I allowed to do that? I'm new to this game. Hello? 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 Just yep. roll perception. Okay, sorry. If no one says anything, I'm assuming I'm not allowed to. No, no, no. You, you roll perception. You can. Mm. You're searching around, and the thing that you find most interesting is that on one of the chairs that uh, he offered you, there is currently a hedgehog there. <gasps> What's that? Uh, uh, the the mage turns around. He's currently making tea, and he goes, "Oh, uh, that's Vincent. That's my familiar." I know you know. So, 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 so you know him. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I know him quite well, and he knows me quite well. And he pockets the hedgehog into his robe. Oh, so cute. Sorry, I. I that would have been just, rather painful. Just so cute. <clears throat> so, uh, you wanted to ask questions. I honestly can tell you this. I have no idea what attacked this in town. I don't know how to make the big thing that comes into town go away. Only Ray could do that with a simple phrase, which I don't know. And, um, would you like to buy some potions? Oh my god. Well, since we are here, uh, you have answered all of our questions, I think. But, oh, task, I... task, task holds his hand up. This place is a so this you use so you use the green from around the area. Do you travel outwards any anywhere further from the confines of this area? The game uh, I, no, no, no. I, I stay quite close here. It's dangerous out there. Goblins and oh, gods know whatever things and that big thing that keeps coming into town. Much less don't want to deal with that. And he kind of scaffolds. He goes over to a shelf and he whoosh, whoosh, pulls it out. You hear clink, 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 clink as he kind of he's digging through the drawer. And he pulls out whoop, a bunch of things, closes it with his fist, and brings it over, and dump, dumps a bunch of potions on the um, on the table. He goes, "No, I, 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 am a bit of a homebody. Um, I actually hire some of the people around town to go out for me and, and gather me things. I have really bad allergies." <laughs> yeah. He looks what kind of. What kind of people do you send out? Usually send out. Well, you got a lot of fishermen folk. I don't send them out. They they don't do so well at the mountains. I actually used to send Ray. Uh, she. You to, she likes to go up to the mountains. She goes there to pray a lot, so she'd pick me up things. Um, anyone who's really out hunting, that sort of thing. I mean, uh, I'll go myself if I absolutely have to, but most people here are quite generous, though the attitude has been quite gloomy since Ray left us. Um, Un understandable, but can you give me an example of the sort of hunts these people go off to? Like... I understand that getting ingredients might not be on their high priority list being fishermen or huntsmen. Do you happen to know, like, where their travels usually take them before, like, gathering miscellaneous ingredients for you along the way? Uh, they usually take a trail. There's a trail that goes right up the mountain, um, but they don't go to the west side of the mountain. What's on the west side of the mountain? Uh, the thing that Ray is the only one who can, you know, get rid of. Hmm. Okay. They go to the eastern side of the mountain to gather my supplies and hunt for bears and things like that. What is the thing? Everyone keeps calling it a thing. What, what, does it look, what does it look like? He flips, he grabs a book off the shelf and he flips through it and he kind of palms through it and he goes and he pushes it towards you and he goes, it's kind of like that, but um, 
more human -y, if that makes sense. Uh, this would be... What would this be? You know what? I'm just going to say you guys would know this. Um, Borky, in fact, you would actually probably know this quite well. Uh, he points to an illustration, of, a pen and, and graphite illustration of an ogre. Ooh. Oh. Yes, right here. Donkey. Yeah, but... Yes, uh... right here. <laughs> prim primarily found in swamps, usually. But... <laughs> That is a common misconception, sir. Why you see in the first air, and he kind of blabs on about mm. like history and whatnot. And... That's cool. You say, "Heard wanna... like Smash Mouth." Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna. I I'd like to look around at the different potions that he has just on display, and uh, I'm I'm curious if he has any of the um, similar potions of healing, just based on. Actually. You, there are three red ones, which you recognize as, as some type of healing potion. There's one that is a, a aquan blue, and then there's one that is a blend of various colors, which appears to be changing colors a lot. Ooh. Uh, the rest of the, the things you see, you assume that most of his potions are in these drawers that he has. Um, the bottles that you see are, are liquids, components, things like that. That Oh, I hit my microphone. Uh, that he would use... Uh, <laughs> So all of the potions are just literally out in the middle of this big old pile in the middle of the room where we all are? Uh, it's a very small pile. It's probably about five potions. Mm. Okay, so I'm going back to more questions. How long is this thing, how long has this ogre been attacking this town? Like, what's the history with this thing picking on you guys? Oh, uh, he kind of stops his, his lecture, which was kind of drawing out and getting kind of boring. He goes, well, it's been attacking the town since it was actually founded, uh -huh. strangely enough. Uh, Ray came with uh, her teacher, and and they basically, you know, helped forge the town. And it has a uh, we have a river to the west, uh, which is a uh, Crawford's Gully, and we fished there. And it was it was perfect place to kind of spread out and, and send trade into Alabast. And the moment we built the first building, it started to arrive and uh, killed many people on the roads. But uh, as Ray made herself more of the town leader, eventually it. Um, it stopped its attacks, but um, not that it didn't attempt to. Um, we'd find remnants of its fighting goblins. Uh, very, very messy. Not very fun to look at. Um, <clears throat> Is this thing intelligent enough for diplomacy? It's the thing, which is interesting. Um, Ray seems, I don't know if it's a spell or if she's talking to it, but whenever she encounters it, she does speak to it. Um, I assume it's some sort of paladin warding spell, you know, they're quite heroic. And he kind of wiggles his eyebrows. He's kind of like, oh, they're so cool. Damn boys. Tass ta ta looks over to panic. Doesn't your lot know something called comprehend language? Uh... I can speak. What do you mean my lot? Answer the question, times of the essence. Uh, no, I don't believe I do. If it's an ogre, well, I can speak to it. Really? Yeah. You can speak ogre? Yeah. Fascinating. Because what I'm happy to think that this fancy little warding spell of hers was comprehend language. Hmm. Huh. Do you think we could actually speak to it and get any valuable information from it? Well, obviously, we're talking with something that has... A little bit more meaner demeanors than something like, say, Pat's Borky on the side. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, you haven't seen me mad yet. <laughs> the problem is, is that we can probably get to this thing, but but the way to get to this thing is through its id, mm. and through its id, we have to appease it somehow to at least prove that we're not there to cause some kind of concern, more like tribute. Mm. Good point. Right. Um, I'm not a, a genius on these things. I like I said, I just make potions. I mean, I, I have my odd book, but so busy. Um, most magical creatures, to my knowledge, uh, at least ones that are willing to discuss. If you provide a gift, usually gemstones, gold, usually more gemstones. They tend to talk. Um, uh, <clears throat> I can I can understand that. Um, were you interested in these potions at all? I've just made them fresh and. Uh, none of the hunters have wanted to take them. They've got uh, all yet, the ones they uh, need. Oh, what exactly are you selling? Here we have uh, three potions of uh, uh, healing. Mm. So that's a 2D, D4 plus 2. Uh, they're, they're 50 gold pieces each. Uh, and then we have this right here. Uh, it's a potion of water breathing. 
Uh, that one is uh, 75 gold pieces. Um, it doesn't last terribly long. Uh, it was a bit of a flub, but uh, it, it might as well sell it. Um, and the last one is, and he picks up the, the, the vial that has the, the interchanging liquid, and he looks at it, and he kind of grimaces, and he goes, I don't know what exactly this is. Um, it sort of was a happy accident. Um, he places it down. I was trying a new recipe, and I don't know if it worked, so if you buy any of these potions, I'll throw it in for free. Tass picks it up and looks at it. This looks okay. like our tribute. Ah, clever. Uh, what was it meant to be? It was to be a potion of enlarged person. <laughs> oh, it was supposed to be. I, uh, the nature of potion making is very challenging, very difficult. There's a lot of room for error. A lot of room. Yes, a lot of room for error. And you're sure you didn't mess up any of these other potions, yes? Oh, oh, no, I'm, I'm an expert at making healing potions. It's my main staple. I've never had a failed one yet. Oh, I don't Water know. breathing, I'm trying to perfect. I've, I've got the basics down, but I, I want to perfect it a bit more. How can we transform this from happy to assassination? Well, if it's volatile, we could give in to its desire to grow stronger. And you have Minor Illusion. We can make this even more pretty. Mm-hmm. And I could say it's really cool and I want it. You gotta know something about ogres here. Ogres, if you have something, they'll be like, well, I want it too. I was I was so afraid you were gonna say they have layers. No, <laughs> oh, no, so they don't. They're very, they're very simple-minded folk, really, actually. If you say you have something and they can't have it, they'll be like, oh, well, I want it too. So we could, we could outsmart them, right? Well, well, here's where you could come into play. Yeah. I have a plan. Oh. If we could find this thing, mm -hmm. come, make it come towards us, yeah. Borky, since you're the closest to its kin. Yeah. Well, it's not good. We, we, I don't... we can, hold, hold, let me finish. Okay. Since you're closest to it and you can actually comprehend this thing speaking, mm -hmm. how about we stage a little play? You have just ransacked a bunch of travelers for this nice little neat potion, oh. and you're willing to share. <laughs> so you want me? To, so you want me to be the bad guy? Yes, Borky. I want you to be the bad guy within reason. It's good you cut me off there because I had a plan. I was, I was gonna steal all these potions. <laughs> I was, I, I was straight up gonna steal. All, I was gonna take the goddamn hedgehog too because that looks cute. <laughs> oh, it's good. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Down in the table. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. oh, yo. Uh, Borky, Borky, play with this. Uh, what? 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 Just, just picks up something, like picks up something miscellaneous oh, oh. off the table and gives it to him. Uh, Here, play no, with no, this. no, 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 that's, that's very fragile. Please. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Are you gonna buy the potions or not? Because you just make me nervous. I have work. Oh, uh, we don't have done, and I'd rather not. puts puts down a gold coin for the swirling potion. Oh, okay. You want anything else? You're good. What, just really quick, out of character, how many potions do we have, guys? I have two. I have two potions. One which is potion of lesser healing, and po one potion of healing. I have one lesser wounds potion. I got nothing. Okay, so just really quick, do we do we want to try to divvy anything up, or should we go ahead and buy something? I mean, actually, hold on. I see. Borky. It signals. Actually, I'm gonna go outside. I need, uh, I need some air. I think uh, I'm slapping too much. And Borky kind of like, like, like lightly, like completely unsubtly nudges Greckles to follow him. Oh boy, what do you have planned this time? I'll follow him out. Leaving Task and, uh, and Panic inside to keep talking to the gentleman. Oh. Uh, Got an idea. All right, big guy, let's hear it. Okay, cause I've been thinking with my thoughts. I realize more and more if I keep thinking, good things happen. So <laughs> we're straight broke. We got no, we got no monies. I'm guessing fifty is more than what we have, right? Uh, for the sake of argument, sure. Okay. Just steal all of it. You're asking me to steal five potions yeah. in the middle of a room yeah. where everyone is looking. Yeah. 
If we're gonna make this happen, we need a really big distraction. Not only that. I'm gonna take the hedgehog and try and free it. As you're talking, you hear as the door of the Arcanium opens and you see the hedgehog walk out on the top step and you hear as the door closes and the hedgehog just stares at all of you. <laughs> I think he's in too. Tell you what, Borky, go ahead and try and pick it up. Let's test your plan. Borky reaches down to pick. Borky picks up the adorable little hedgehog. Roll a constitution saving throw. What? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> what? What's happening? Roll the con, bro. Roll it. Bro. Oh. oh, yeah. You just pick it up. It falls up. Like, it rolls itself up and starts hissing and puffing, trying to, like, hurt you. You have a hedgehog in your hand. Borky, this is a bad idea. Borky it's keeps walking with idea. the hedgehog. Oh no, the hedgehog's getting away! Borky just buffs it into the woods with the hedgehog. Your hedgehog's getting away! I'm gonna chase after it! I need your help! Borky keeps running. As you're walking with it, the hedgehog poof, disappears from your hand. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I made it God. disappear entirely! Oh my god, okay, here's the thing. Let me just speed this up. I'll buy one of the 2d4s. I got the money for it. And then we'll just get the potion. We'll just get the potion, the other one for free. We'll call it good. Oh no! Oh god. I know it's a familiar. I'm sure I wanted to see what happened when I kept running away with it. Oh, I'm you said it was. Familiar? Said it was a 2d4 plus what? 2b, 2b, 2d4 plus 2. So you go Thank back you. in, right? Yes. I'm gonna buy it. And we're just gonna the mage be on looks our way. actually really mad, and he goes, "I saw through my familiar that your friend there tried to steal my hedgehog." Yeah, I he's simple. He, he's simple. Don't mind it. I I'm, just. I, oh, wait, we, <laughs> wait. Wait. You, you're outside. I thought it was. Yeah, no. I thought it was cute. Just Greckles is in there. He can't see the rest of here. Here, see the rest of you. He crosses an army. He looks at you. He goes, 60 gold pieces." My bad. Excuse me. Go outside. Me? Is it Borky? Walk up to Borky. Go for it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, y'all complimented me on my plan, so I mean, I felt like, uh, I felt like I could come up with another Your one. Your plan made the potion that was one gold piece 60! No, 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 he's charging the, the, the healing potion is now 60 instead of 50. Oh, fucking Christ. Okay, because they were cut out, so... You know what? No, I'm continuing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I, I, I think he, I mean, I mean, he was only charging more for the health potion. I think we're still getting that weird, that weird, that weird one for the, for like, what was it, gold? Well, yeah, it's, uh... You're very mad. Hey, right, continue on, dude. So you're in there with the mage, uh, you're, you're by yourselves, and he, he looks very, not angry, but he's just like really like distrusting you at the moment. Panic sits up in his chair, and he's like, listen, what? I had to talk to Borky. Did we? Yeah, you all I... went outside to talk with Borky, and just Greckles went back in. Oh. Look, I told him, it, look, I told him it was a stupid idea, and to be fair, he really is the meat shield of the group. He's not the thinker. This was not... I knew, I knew he was going to mess up and something terrible was going to happen. Let's just Let, say... Hang on, I I believe I can smooth this over. Let you're not there. Go... What? You're not Where there. am I? You're outside. You're outside! <laughs> I go back inside. <laughs> because it's awkward because Task is ripping into poor Borky right now. <laughs> yeah, you kind of, you duck your head into the, into the Arcanium. Mage. Right, talk, you're going to talk. All right, listen. We we all have that one friend, right? What what was your name again? <laughs> My name was Ozzy. Ozzy, that is a lovely name. Ozzy, you know we all have that one friend, right? You know the the, the one that's not uh, not uh, doesn't think carefully. It was it is unreasonable. I mean, in this economy, ten extra gold for healing potions that is absurd. Maybe. Maybe Person. bump it back down to the original 50, eh? 
roll that on your sheet, or are you back? Uh, I'm back, yeah. All right, you can roll Persuasion. <laughs> oh! oh! Dab! Oh. Dab! <laughs> Let's make it tough. <laughs> you, as you say this, you see as you kind of, you got, the, I'm going to grab the, the freaking music for this, because I grabbed it and I want to do it. <laughs> Let's make it 25. As you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> As you yes. lean in and you talk to this gentleman, your suave demeanor is quite alluring. Um, and this man, you notice, at first he was mistrustful, and you can see on his face a bit of red. And, Ozzy um... <laughs> he, um... <laughs> that is a lovely name. <laughs> he, um... He kind of grabs one of the potions, and he kind of walks over and goes see you you're <clears throat> you're you're a gentleman so you get you, you know you can have one for free um come back though you know um if you want more oh um, that's very kind of you i believe i will be back for your right i was a little a little harsh it was a little for harsh your potions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you see if we can get a discount please i just I got them for free no, 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 and, and, the, the, ma the mage puts out a hand, he goes, no, 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 I'll, I'll put it back to 50 for your friend. I mean, that was just ridiculous to me. I'm not usually like that, I assure you. Um... No, the temper is flaring, things happen, you know, anything can happen. Oh, uh, yeah. It's hard to relax these days, you know? Anything just, you know. can happen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll, I'll, just my, I'll slowly just put my gold on the table, take the potion, and be on my way. Uh, come back! Uh, I'll have some, some more. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> he goes back to his workstation. You guys exit outside. Uh, <laughs> Pen uh, Panic walks outside, runs his hands back through his hair, and says, Whew, man, I need to learn how to turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Panic. Was such a... oh, Panic, was I owe you a drink, my friend. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> So you both so, get healing so, potions. So barring, <laughs> so barring Borky's idiocy, mm. how are we feeling on that plan? Kick ass. I still like it. I love it. So that was a, uh, what was that? A potion of, uh, is uh, it, it a potion 2D... of restoration? Yeah, it was 2d4 plus 2. Okay, 2d4 so plus 2. That's yeah. just a regular healing potion, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm also assuming that Panic, you actually took the other potion, the the the. the oh happy yeah, yeah. Potion. I I I took the um, I, I took the happy ending potion. <laughs> <laughs> That's good shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, well, Borky, your plan worked. Oh, did it! <laughs> You did it, big guy! Yeah! I just grabs Panic and just, sorry, grabs. <laughs> just, sorry. Just grabs Panic and a giant hug and swims around. Oh, you're the best! And just kisses him right on the cheek. And there's you're fucking. There's you're task crushing my guitar. There, there's Task fucking putting his index finger and his thumb into his eyes so hard. <laughs> well, now that that is over, uh. What were we doing again? Oh, right. Uh, I'm about to show you all mountains. Why I could maybe the greatest villain of all time. Uh, oh, I can't wait to see how this plays out. As long as... Pause on the session here. I'm going to make a question here. Because just for the viewers at home, we're going to have <laughs> two people who are going to be missing for E3. Um, so do you guys want to continue for another hour and a half? Or do you want to call it here... And this would allow me to... Should we continue, or...? Um, hmm. Have to continue uh, later. I think I would be okay with doing that. Yeah, okay. I'm good for another hour and a half. All I right. just need to go... Let me just go tell the wife really quick what's going down. Zidor, are you okay? Oh, Zidor, are you okay with that? You have the more finite time here. And if you need to go, no worries. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, you're good with that? Yeah, that's why I'm calling it here, just because if, if we did it here, it was, a, it was a good place to stop. If not, we continue on forward. And... If that's the case... Could we possibly take a quick five-minute break? Let's take a qu yeah. let's yes. take a quick five. Everybody, minute. everybody, take a quick. Bio. Words. A bio. A bio break. Alrighty.
buy a break right, right. water. Well, by the way, but wow, wow. Wine. Holy, holy <laughs> shit. Like seriously, seen out. Fucking a man. That <laughs> yeah. that, that was brilliant. That, that was just I'm... also Nadine. Props with the music. The music just fucking cranked that shit up to max. Yeah, fucking that was perfect. This is amazing. That's great. All right, be right back. Yep, same here. I'm back. Hello? 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 Hey, anyone here? I am, went to get a drink. Ah! Oh, God. Jesus. Are we still live streaming? I don't know if we're live streaming or not. I, 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 doubt, I don't doubt we'd still be streaming. Okay, I see the chat. I, I'm, I'm on. Okay, we are still streaming. Oh, I was, I was like by myself. I was calling out to the darkness, and there's no one there. I was gonna answer, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna run to the sink, grab some water. <laughs> My room feels like it's fucking a million degrees. I don't care about TwitchCon. I just want to say hello to the chat. Oh no, I'm not logged in. The Zito's jump scare, right? <laughs> yeah, that that legitimately scared me. You're so loud. I can't I can't type into chat, but I'm saying hello. So hello everyone. I hope you're enjoying it so far. And some stuff has happened, not that I expected. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. I love that everyone in the I was looking at the chat, they were like, wow, Task is super racist. He's a kobold talking to four other creatures that aren't one of his race. Everyone in d and is an asshole xenophobic racist. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Plus, I was also, like, I wasn't talking about his race. I was talking about him being a bard. Because that's one of the spells <laughs> they can do. Oh. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted to roll a fuck. Like, like, I wanted to roll an uh, athletics check so like he could just like stand on top of fucking Borky's chest and scream at him face to face. <laughs> but the way the way my rolls were going, if I rolled something small, I would have legit rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was just like the moment you're like, I want to walk up to the tree. It was just like, oh no, oh no, this could end good or bad. And then you rolled a... really low, and I'm like, oh no, it ended bad. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm also, back. I realize no. now with panic, if if Ozzy Ozzy was a name, but now I realize that's also a musician, which makes this even weirder. Yeah, I I yeah. was I was going to the bathroom, right? <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute, Ozzy Osbourne. I am having so much. That, I was like, why didn't no one fucking make? I was like waiting she... for the, the the coinciding. I'm just like, come on. <laughs> I'm back. Are we all? Welcome back. Oh god, panic ex Aussie. We need some fan art. God. All right, are we all back now where everyone's here? Don't encourage them. We have nope. Zito, we have Taka, we have Ga do you have Gaijin back? No? Gaijin, Gaijin's not back yet. Oh, or okay, yeah. shoot. Uh, chat, real fast there. How many people do we have in this stream right now? 586 right now. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm glad everyone's having fun. 
I am having a hoot, but also lots of stuff is going on. I like this. This this stream group does not go with for the cheap, easy jokes. How long have you been here, son? <laughs> we don't go for the cheap, easy jokes. That's all we've been. Yeah, I was about to say the low hanging fruit is the juiciest. Exact. Thank you. Exactly right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Panic is secretly an incubus. You are part demon. <laughs> that is a possibility. Yeah, I was just it is a, a possibility. Orky's about to. Be uh. Demon. Well, um. Hmm. I don't know the ins and outs of it, but technically I'm not. Tieflings are strange. Else. Oh, Janapple's mom is watching this? Hi, Janapple's mom. Hi, mom. Hello. Hello, mother. Hello, Hello father. Mother. Here I am at Concordia. Granada. <laughs> I, I, I feel bad for the awkward kind of continuing on, but just for the sake of... Uh... I want to well, make sure that here, we... here's something we could do next time, uh, Taka. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Going forward, uh, whenever we have like little breaks or anything, we can make a BRB picture. Yeah, we could. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, I'm really bad at this tech shit, so I'll figure that out. That's not a tech. That's not a tech shit. All it is is just get a picture that says BRB and then just layer it over on top of this when we go BRB and take it off. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Um, right. Taka, what are you using to stream this right now? I'm using OBS. Oh, not OBS Studio. Uh, is it OBS Studio? It's OBS. Okay, OBS and OBS Studio are two different things. Not completely different, but um, uh, I can probably help you out a little bit. I would, I'm I would not... love it. I would love a co-producer on this shit, man. Yeah, I'm not uh, all that great at it. I be haven't streamed. Be be in become, like become months. good at it. <laughs> all right, please, please. I'll try. I'll make an attempt for you. I'm looking, I'm looking at all this fucking fan art that's going on on Twitter right now. Oh shit! Really? Oh, oh yeah. God! Star Star's been posting it nonstop in the stream. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what happens. Our fucking crit win. Wait, you can just have it for free. <laughs> mm. I hope he comes back. Uh! I, uh, when I heard Ozzy, I was like, okay, we can go for Ozzy Osbourne, or we could go for the fucking Chrono uh, Trigger. Ozzy's in a pickle! <laughs> Freaking sad Ted. <laughs> sad Ted art. Dude, Ted? <laughs> oh, God. Is there? We have the official Twitter. We should probably put that stuff... Um, yeah. I'll, get you, I'll, send you, I'll, send, I'll send you access to that in the meeting. I'll send you access to that so you can start posting there. Oh, the no. official TFS Twitter? No, the, the official... <laughs> no, 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 the... The, 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 the un unexpected. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, we have an... Yes. Yeah. I made it. Wow. Yeah, man. Just made it just so we can normalize that stuff. I probably should I like. I like this bit that was just dropped. Panic is the walking... In, is walking in large person spell. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, so Star, you were just... Yeah, let's make... keep going. All right, so you guys leave um, the uh, Mage's Tower. You are now on the outskirts of town. I assume you continue up the mountainside, correct? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So now, hold it's on. A little before bit, so. before we continue, fucking hold Borky up for a second. Yeah. I want you to repeat back to me what the plan is. Okay. The plan is, we're gonna pretend. To steal this from you. And I'm gonna scream as loud as I can how great this thing I have is and why it makes me the best. Because ogres, if anything, are just envious all the time. And then Good. I get him to drink it no matter what. Right? You can do that, but before he drinks it. Yeah. The main reason we're out here is because we're looking for information on the on the creature that killed the paladin. Right, right, that thing right there. So I so I talk to him to see if he knows anything before he drinks it. Right. So remember, we're having you be our ambassador to trade the potion for information. Okay, I can do that. You may proceed. <clears throat> So, a quick okay. question, Indian. Are we close to where that our ogre is supposed to be? I'm going to say that you guys walk for a solid three hours up the mountain. Okay. Uh, it's an arduous climb. Um, 
And there is a fork in the road, one path less traveled by, with lots of grass growing out. It's just a little more arid, a little more dry, not as many trees or bushes. Um, and then there's a turnoff that goes to the west side, and there's a turnoff which is more traveled by that goes to the east side. Okay. And to the west side. How's the terrain look? Is it just like yeah. nothing but rock? Uh, more rock, a couple shrubs, uh, and a few very scarce trees. You couldn't climb them if you tried. Mm. <laughs> Someone in the chat just said something horrible. In before the ogre is female. Oh, God. <laughs> that seems to be kind of a trend that happens, yeah. All right. Um... I, I just, I just want to say, before we ever get to even close to the encountering spot, I do want to jump in the hide. Just whenever we get there. Okay, so that we, to, right to, now, just preemptively. Okay. Yep. Boom. In you go. Yep. You just, you just, you're just back in. The, the bushes here are a little thorny, but um, you you manage to to dive in. You don't take any damage. It's just a little uncomfortable. Um. All right. So I'm thinking I might do the same thing, but I think we should leave the hamming up acting to panic. Hmm. 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 No, so hang you, on a second here. Here you go, Chief. Here's the potion. Uh, cast minor, cast minor illusion. Make it gold or some such fucking nonsense. We'll be in the trees. Bye. Stealth. What if I die? Oh, that, don't that, want, that's why. That's you why know. you run away. I want Think you to of know. Think I want you to know. I'm a method actor. I'm not going to be. I'm not. <laughs> Does he even know what a method actor is? Yeah. <laughs> I want you, you to know. Heard the word in a town. I want you to know. I'm just fucking around. I want you to know. I'm gonna be okay. the best actor you've ever seen. All right. I don't believe you, but that don't want to be. Remember, he remember, he did do the chicken call really good. It is true. Okay, so like, are, are, so are pretty much, are we close? Do can we can we do like a? You are basically have reached a point where it's a big opening in the path. Okay. Um, you discern that if you're gonna do this, this is the best place to do it. All right. Um, can I, where are you hiding? There's currently only one, like, bush to hide in. <laughs> and, we're gonna like, be a bush bunch. buddies. <laughs> oh, um, there's currently just one, why can't I, come on. Borky is also gonna hide in the bush. There's no room, bro. I would push Make you room. that happen. Well, the thing is, uh, Borky, here's what you should do. You keep walking, and I'll like pop out and be like, "Brugly, brugly, brugly." No, we, Borky, we don't have to pretend that the fight just started. We're pretending that the fight happened midway towards the end, where you win and take the prize. All right. So when should we go for it? Uh, go for it whenever you're ready. You literally just beat us up, and you have the potion. Okay, so I just, just start, <laughs> Borky, just. Pushes, panic down on his butt. Give it, give it here, you little bastard. Okay, roll a performance check. <laughs> oh God, time to show you. Much. Panic when you. Oh run. no! <laughs> I am being accosted by an orc. <laughs> so so ta so panic. He's going to take my precious thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh no! This plant's going swimmingly so no, far. This is good. This Every is... single human being across the very planet at this moment can hear but one sound coming from a certain shrubbery. The sound of Tass's hand smacking into his face <laughs> as he watches this poor, poor display. You m small me! Oh, big! Oh. Boogly, 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 boogly. I like the idea of of you being smaller than me. Oh my god. Uh, as this is happening, you hear the sound of heavy footfalls. And now I got. Approaching. Now I got your amazing vial of awesome stuff. But when you have it, you're the best, and no one else is. You see a, a curious figure, very large in stature, um, rock, uh, brandishing a weapon, 
And how do you have panic? What are you doing with panic? Are you like on top of him? Is he dead on the ground? Foots or... on it. Foots on his stomach. Because or Bor 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 Borky has both his hands <laughs> raised like a champion. I was kind of hoping he'd just let him run this way, so we had a three man on four. Get out of here and just kicks him. As Borky sees Ooh, that the guy is coming here, was... get out of here, you weakling! I bet women don't even find you attractive. Oh God! That hurt you, prick. That hurt you, prick. Like looks down at you, panic, kind of tilts its head curiously, and then looks at you, and you can see its eyes narrow. Uh, does anybody speak giant? It's me. Ah, uh, Borky speaks giant. Uh, speak the, the ogre, here. like, towering above you. He's ten feet tall. Mm. He looks down at you and he goes, Here. What was it? Sorry, you, you cut out. What are you doing here, he says, in giant. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, Borky Jesus. puffs his chest out. Are you like that, are you like that big shadow monster guy who makes all that smoke stuff? I want you to roll an insight check on this, everybody. Insight. Yay. Except for you, Panic, because you're dead on the ground. Dead. <laughs> <quotations>. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Fucking rolls, man. Oh, my God. Fucking Gaijin is crushing right now. Can I roll a performance to see how dead I am? <laughs> uh, game before a natural one. Hmm? Game before a oh. natural <clears throat> one. Was, go ahead, roll a performance check. There we go. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Well, that was that was a natural two. Exception <laughs> uh, or insight to, to well, either way, it's still negative. Um, he, he doesn't even notice you. Um, but what you do notice, Greckles, is that as um, Borky refers to the smoke, large smoke creature you guys are in pursuit of, you mm. see hurt mm. on this large creature's eyes, as if it flinches almost. It's kind of in pain. You see a, a pang of, of sadness. And he shakes it off, and he looks, and he goes, Are you stealing? Maybe. Maybe I am. I... His, his, his jaws, like, quiver, and he goes, My friend says stealing is bad. Well, you shouldn't I... steal. Well, obviously what? stealing is what? bad. But I'm doing it because... <laughs> Morky stares right at him with complete conviction. Oh. Panic off the ground. Let me roll a strength check. Grabs you, panic. He grabs you by like the cuff of your shirt and he lifts you straight up onto your feet. Like trying to balance you as you're playing dead. He's trying to like put you back on your feet. He's kind of like trying, like, and he kind of plops you down on the floor like a, like a doll. He looks to you, Bork, and he holds out a giant hand. He goes, Give back the thing you take from him. Okay. Wait. Before I give it to you, real, I got a quick question. Don't make Avin angry. Give back. You're not. If I give you thing and you answer question, I'll leave. Will that be good? I'll run away and never come back. Roll of persuasion with disadvantage. Ooh. Ow! A three. All right, this is it. Okay, we're not we're not we're not in uh, initiative yet, right? No. Okay. Okay, real, real fast. I'm gonna come out. I'm just gonna. I don't even care. This is so risky, but I'm just gonna. Motherfucker! <laughs> you don't have to you can stay hidden. You can stay hidden. Bork, Borky, stand down right now. Oh, thank God, I couldn't keep it up anymore. He's so big. Okay. Oh, the Borky, size of this guy. Borky. Borky. Okay. My bad, my I need bad. you to calm down. Right. You're gonna have to talk for me. Okay. Do you okay. understand that? Yeah, yeah. I will translate for you. <clears throat> the, the what you assume now is a half ogre now looks to the two of you as you speak in this this foreign tongue. And he he looks perturbed. He thinks you're a thief too. Oh, so he kind of <clears throat> stop. Let no. me let me try let me try to roll charisma. Okay. If if I can do any sort of body language thing. Nice. <gasps> Damn goobs. You you bow to him, which mm -hmm. he looks, and you see him kind of relax. But he still darts very dis like. I think murky. we got off to the wrong foot. Hello there, my name Borky? is Borky. Borky, Borky, 
You? I need you to just translate what I'm saying, okay? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I want to look at him. I want to point to my mouth and then point to Borky. Okay, let's Borky? see how intelligent he is. Okay. Well, you want to kiss me? I did get his shoes real quick. I closed it. <laughs> like a dummy. Um, sorry. No I had it tabbed. And now oh my god. One. What? No. There we go. We have orcs. That's not what you are. There we go. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, he makes sense of that with that roll. Okay. He kind of. <clears throat> I put my I put my hand on Bork like I put my hand on Borky, mm -hmm. and I say. What happened to you? And I want to say to Borky in regular tongue, when you mentioned the monster, he got real sad. Something happened to him. And the fact that he hasn't crushed us to a pulp yet, I think there's more to him. Let's not start a fight, okay, big guy? Okay. Uh, and how... Oh, well, I, I guess we've all dropped the charade then. No, no, you're still... One second, I'm, I'm You're gonna... still on the ground. I'm, still, I'm, gonna, I'm, <laughs> gonna tra I'm gonna translate it real fast. So, right. when I mentioned the monster, the big smoke monster, you look sad. The... His eyes now go completely mournful. He kind of kicks a stone at his feet and sort of avoids eye contact, and he goes, Big thing come into town and killed Ray. He said big thing came into town, killed Ray. Ask him if he knew Ray well. Did you know? Uh, hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you know? Oh, sorry. What was that? There? Sorry. I, I was just—I was just gonna say that uh, he did say his name, correct? He hasn't said his name. No, he said Ray's name. Oh. Oh no, but he—he—he he, he did say his name, but only Borky knew. Fuck. Okay, sorry. I did not write that down. Sorry, I was in the middle of the thing. Could you tell me the name again, just out of character? His name is Avin. 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 No. What? No, his name is not Avin. What's his name? He said something about Avin. Go back into your memory. Who's Avin? Avin is the god of the mountains and justice. His name is so he's named after the god of justice. He's talking about the fucking. He thinks he, do you not hurt Evan. Okay, so okay, 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 this okay, okay, this okay. Getting, this is deeper than usual. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. I'm very, very confused right now. I need you to clarify here if I'm going to be translating this crap. Okay. He said, "Don't make Evan angry" in okay. reference to the god, not himself. Oh, so thank, you, thank, you, thank, thank, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you, 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 thank you. Okay. Alright. Did you know? Okay, now, where were we? we were, where were we? I'm lost now. Did you know Ray well was the next question. Did you know? Was was she one of your friends? Uh, the half-ogre now sheaths his weapon to his side, and he starts fidgeting with his fingers a bit and kind of looking, once again, back down to the ground, avoiding eye contact, and he goes, Ray was Gorb's best friend. Brought Gorb gifts if Gorb not attacked villagers. But Gorp can't live with villagers. Holes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can you repeat that last bit you cut out on my end? They assholes. Well, obviously. They won't even let me take their hedgehog. He nods in agreement, not knowing what you're exactly what you're saying, but just kind of to yeah. agree. Okay, I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn, I turn to Greckles. Mm -hmm. He said his friend... He says that the paladin was his friend, and that the paladin wouldn't, wouldn't, made a deal with him or something, that she would bring him gifts and he wouldn't attack the people, because that would make her sad, and he liked her, and also everyone in the town is an asshole. That I we can both agree on that. As you say this to Greckles, uh, the ogre actually reaches into a pocket and hands out a tiny baseball-sized orb. In his hand, it's very tiny, about the size of a cherry, and he shows it to you. He shows it to the both of you, and you see an orb, um, and inside of it is water and a little clockwork goldfish just swimming around in it. Oh. Ask him what this is. What is this? Ray gave to me. Said mm. gift from big city of stone. Mm. Ooh. Very pretty. And he pockets it back. He goes, 
Ray visit me every two days. We talk and she pray to her god. But she say villagers no like me, so I can't visit. When I do, she get mad at me. And he kind of kicks the dirt a bit harder, almost kicking you panic on the ground. What? Borky? Oh, so I don't know this. Uh, can 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 I just assume? We'll that just I'm say just we'll just joking. say he translate. Yeah. Yeah. Let's I'll, just I'll, say I'll, say, I'll just say I translate. I'm not, not, I'm just gonna like try and yeah. okay. Okay. I want to tell him through through Borky. We're after we're we're essentially after the same thing. We want to avenge the death uh, of the fallen paladin. Yeah. So we want the same thing, but we need help. Yeah. What would be look if we were sent to rescue someone? And then we found, in pursuit, we found out she died. So we maybe need your help if you have any information. I saw a big thing with little thing. You saw the big, the big smoke Ray. thing? That's how you cut out the Wait, what? You, just, you cut out? He nods, he goes, mm. and he nods. Was there a small smoke thing with it too? Mm, no, small, small thing. Small, human. Like, it was a person? Hmm. Mm. How small was she? How small was it? Small enough to not make good meal. Was it a... Was it like a child? I'm... I don't know, child. Like, um... Borky's like your access brain how to describe what he's talking about. You know how people you know how people have it, the tiny versions of them running around? They make lots of noise. Nonsense! And he like stomps on the ground. He goes, I see smoke monster go! And it go and I, I wanna fight, but stronger than Ray, then stronger than me. Mm. He He starts to cry. He's he seems frustrated about even talking about it. Okay, let me let me do this. Let me go over now. He's on the he's on the ground. I wanna put my hand, I wanna put my talon upon his arm in the shirred manner. He flinches. He he flinches at first, but he lets you. Borky pulls out his bag of macaroons. (laughs) Opens it up. What tasty treat? Sees an insight check you. He he looks at it. He wrinkles his nose, and he he doesn't trust you. All right, Borky just eats it. I take no no. I take I'll I'll take a piece and I'll just pop it in my mouth and eat it and I'll gesture at the bag. You fool! You fool! Roll that with an advantage. Ooh. Yep. He he reaches in. He grabs a macaroon, just tiny like a pebble, and he just <laughs> eats it. He Do you wipes feel the tear from his eye. Do you feel better? I don't think he is for a while. He lost his friend. Borky, tell him this. Yeah. Because this, he, he may be able to help us. Yeah. It seems as though as that he's got nowhere to go at the moment, and that they, he won't get let back into town. Mm. Maybe he could come with us to help avenge the death of that's, his friend. That's good things. Hi. You. What was your name? My name is Borky. What's your name again? Borky kind of holds out his hand. Grabs it and shakes it firmly. What, what, real, real fast, what's okay? What was the name again? You cut out. Gorb. G O R B. Gorb is oh, love the name. And they just they kind of like grab wrist to wrist. Yeah, like that one movie with the guys who are super manly. I don't know you the name of it. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh, Predator. Predator. Yeah, Predator. That's what it was. Sorry. <laughs> I ooh, I can feel the chat right uh, now. Hey. Hey, it's fine. It's fine, Diddy. Here's, I don't movie. Here's what. My, here's what we're thinking. We're gonna hunt this thing down and we're gonna stop it. And you know what? I think we need your help. I roll. Hmm? Roll persuasion with disadvantage. Cause it's can hurt. I can I like pat him on the arm and like give him a, a kind gesture to possibly jump in on this roll? Because he, he, this this will be for disadvantage for a particular reason, and I'll explain. It'll probably be explained. So okay, I okay. will roll. I will roll now for disadvantage. Say it's not you guys. It's something else. Okay, that's good. What, what did you say this was? Um, persuasion. This is a persuasion. Yeah, you're persuading him to join to have him join you. Mm. Oh, that's with disadvantage though. 
Ah, oh, oh. damn it. He he looks at you, and for a minute he thinks about it with his brain. Um, but then he stops. He closes his eyes, and he firm conviction. He he turns to you and he goes. Gorb must stay on mountain and pray to Avon because Ray can't anymore. Mm. Or want Ray to be buried on mountain. You talk many words, beaked person. He points to Greckles and goes, You talk to them and you say, Ray want to be buried on Avon's mountain. If we do Not that, in gross city. If we do that, will you fight with us? I... Would I not go? I must stay and pray to Avon. Ray want this. Ray say revenge is bad. Stealing is bad. The thing is... Be happy. The thing is, Gorb. That thing. That beast. That monster. It stole a little girl. Gorb doesn't seem to be at all caring about this. No, he no. seems to have a very one-track mind. Okay, okay, okay. Um, he cares about Ray. Doesn't care about anything else. What can you tell us about the beast? Where? Did you see where it went? It went towards river. Mm. It's... Oh, okay. May still be there. Stop and slow, red like fire, but then, for a moment not, you in middle of town. Small thing... Stay close. Think about attack, but thing stronger than Ray, and he pounds his chest, Stronger than Gorb. Mm. You help Ray back to Mountain. Gorb give you this. And he reaches into his bag and produces a absolute pile of items. Alright. <laughs> I love you, see no drawing, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Are they... Borky, Borky, tell him, tell him he has a deal. I don't know how we're gonna solve our way out of this one, but we may have a couple tricks up our sleeve. We have a deal. If you change and, your and mind, and he hands you all the stuff, just instantly hands it to you. Oh, damn, we gotta get that head back. It says it in English. <laughs> Complete your set, right? Borky, Borky, tell him where we're going. You never know when he might change his mind. If you change your mind, you want to fight to make sure this thing doesn't hurt someone like hurt her. We'll be going that way where the monster is. <clears throat> he nods. After that, if we make it, we'll get the body to you. Promise. Yeah, we need to bring the head back too. Yeah, we gotta get the whole the whole package deal. Gives you one final nod. Um, he looks down at, at at Panic, who is still doing a very good job of being dead. Um, oh, he was faking the whole points. time too. Oh, oh, good. You so bury on mountain, so Avon can take him too. And then he <laughs> uh, yeah, he I leaves. He begins to he be, he begins to walk away, and he stops. He turns for one last word. He goes. Bring her home. Off into the distance. That is sad. Uh, what you have received from him, you have received, um, and I, I can put this in your inventory so you, know, you guys don't have to spend time writing it down. You have received a brass orb etched with runes. Brass orb? Ooh. Wait, wait. Uh, is, which... is this the group, yep. or is this, is this group loot? This is just, he just dumped it on the ground in front of you as payment. All right. But she's but she said she'll put it in our character sheet, so don't worry about putting it in. Oh, okay. We can deal with this afterwards, just for the sake of time, because yeah. yeah, no worries, no worries, no worries, no worries. 
You guys received a brass orb etched with mysterious runes. Mm -hmm. You received an ancient elven arrow, which is just a regular arrow, but it looks like a relic, actually. It looks like a very old historical item. Uh, you found a white sequined glove that fits a human. Made out of golden oak wood. What was that last one you cut out? Golden oak wood. Oh, just so just golden oak wood. Uh, it's a whistle. Okay, thank that we didn't hear that. Down to read. Sorry. No, sorry, um, sorry, sorry. And... I need you to repeat that last bit again. We didn't hear you just there. Like, sorry, you need like, yeah. I need a new microphone. My my microphone's broken. It's, I think it's your. I um, think it's your internet. I think it's the internet. Yeah, I think it's the internet. Think? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, you find a whistle of golden oak wood. Okay. And you find dust of dryness, which is oh, currently is... dust of dryness. A marble-sized orb, uh, which you know, if you were to throw this and break this, whatever water it has absorbed will spill out immediately. Mm. <laughs> and you also find a drift globe, which when you use a command... You can make it glow like a torch. It, it basically acts as casting the light spell. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. And a lot of it is unknown. All right. So with that, you're left back on the trail. Uh, Task, I assume you kind of emerge from the bushes. How'd I Yeah? How'd I Task just looks at let the three of them... What the fuck happened? I did a really good... I acted the shit out of him. Who keeps walking oh, with pride? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Task, we got really lucky. Let's just put it that way. You know what no I mean. No shit. That's how this whole entire fucking journey's been. Well, it was very unexpected. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. That was the end of the thing. It just pant fucking circle cuts on you. Fuck off. <laughs> as you, as you say you. that, you all feel... You all feel an arcane presence as your contracts have just changed again. Oh boy, oh. let's read them up. Oh, for fuck's sake, what happened? Yeah, Panic pulled out his contract. Listed on yeah. your contract is to collect the corpse, the full corpse, of uh, Ray the Paladin and deliver her to Mount Avon, which is this mountain that this creature resides on. He's crazy oh. that this thing knows Ooh. what's going on. Yes, so now we're contractually obligated to do that. Yeah, and now I wish someone had a pen, because then Tass would have wrote down, I want this in triple payment. <laughs> 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 Alright, so you guys head back down the mountain, uh, pass by Ozzy's tower. He's probably at work at the moment. He's back into town. Um, people are kind of running around. You've got a good day ahead of you, if you wish to travel further uh, on this day, and... Given the information provided by Gorb, um, your quarry has the potential to be quite close at the moment. Well, we gotta find a we gotta find a, a river or a lake now. Uh, we fought uh, Borky. No, let's try All right. So if you stand it by a river, then that's where the fishermen went. Let's follow where they went. Well, can we not just like commission one of the ferrymen to take us to a fishing spot? Uh, question. Mm -hmm. Really mm -hmm. quick, just out, just out of character. Would it be a good idea to take the four things that we have no idea what they are to, to the, the love stricken? Yeah, the love stricken mage. Yes. Panic does it because that guy has a it wants to make out with him or whatever. You guys want to do that? You can. Yeah. Um. Well, he... I'm 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 sorry. I I'll let them do that. I actually want to go back to the tavern and try, or at least like. Of find a big convergence and maybe explain this whole situation. Okay. Um, right, can, who wants to take up. the relics to Ozzy? I'll yeah, take the we relics. can we can we can split up. And All right, Bork, that, Borky will go with Borky will go with Task. Uh, just because Borky probably shouldn't go back to the mage place. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, no, probably not. Uh, so panic and mage then. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ozzy greets you very happily. He, he's happy to see you come back. He's like, oh, you're back so soon. Um, you give him the items. He actually checks them. And the, uh, oh, what was the other thing? Oh, the orb. Uh, those are magical items. Uh, he explains to you how exactly they work and the 
The command word for the orb is light. He manages to use a spell to identify its magical properties. The other items, he looks at them and he goes, oh, these, are, these aren't magical at all. These are reliquaries. You could probably sell these to the right purchaser for a decent sum, perhaps. Hmm. Vendor trash. Nice. Nice. <laughs> bit, bit more or less. They're, they're trinkets. Um, uh, it was Task and Borky. Task, you go in um, and you, you go back to the tavern. And it's still busy, but you find the same old man um, who you had met before, uh, as well as uh, a bunch of other townsfolk. And you explain to them what happened, and they don't believe you that much. And they kind of look at you and they go, well, I mean, the body's in the ground, but you need the head, so... If you want to do that for that thing, go right ahead. And if you're looking for a Aye. river, just head westward. You'll hit uh, Crawford's Gully in, in probably a couple hours. Fair enough. Not many people go out fishing that way, though. The rivers are the the water of the river is too rough. So where would where would people convene for water uh, for uh, fishing? It'd be down the gully. But if you're traveling westward like this thing was, then it'd probably cross to Crawford's Bridge. Well, that's where we're headed then. Here's a question, though. Uh, so here's the thing. So, but now we've just pretty much done something your paladin hasn't done for you all these fucking years. We communed with the beast, and we found out that it just wanted a goddamn friend. So here's the thing. When you see this thing, don't be assholes to it. Yeah. That will just make him go crazy. Why don't you try being nice, even if you don't have any fucking communication with this thing? Our bird, for fuck's sake, was able to mime to this thing, and it still worked. I got... Bird. I want... I want... Yeah. Roll a persuasion check with advantage, because you do have Borky there with you. Mm. Um, Borky's got his arms crossed. Oh, okay. Oh. Let me see. Let me see if he... Insight the fuck out of you. The, yep. the best, the best he, uh, fucking roll of the night. The all the villagers kind of look to each other and and one of them says, "If Ray was friends with the thing, then it can't be all that evil." You see, Tash is like snap his fingers and point to the guy. Exactly. I uh, mean, the rest of the villagers kind of standing right next to me. Oh, they you, kind of mumble well, to each other. Are you referring to me? Yes, boy. You know. Oh, sorry. I was acting like I didn't hear look, you. If yeah, yeah. It, if it for the next three days, if it doesn't attack anyone, one, we'll try something. We'll we'll talk to it, but we we'll make no promises. Well, that's not on our hands. Our hands is so long as we can get the body up to him, that's fine. But like I said, here's the thing. Don't be assholes to people that are a little bit bigger than you. Sometimes their hearts are different than the size of their fucking peanut-sized head brains. Head brains, yes. I'm, I'm falling asleep here. You're losing them. You can't blame I'm me for it. The thing killed five of our villagers when we first settled here. Pardon me for being a little guarded. I prefer if things don't die. Oh, okay. Then you don't want us to stop the fucking beast that just killed your paladin? You can tell he's starting to get really frustrated now, and a lot of the other villagers as well are looking not so thrilled with you being present anymore. There's Fuck a very- Bork Bork walks out. Bork no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with making enemies with these assholes. Goodbye. All right, you walk out. Doing a, doing a favor for these fucking ass- No, I'm saying this out loud. Doing a favor for you fucking assholes, and this is the thanks we get. Borky kind of following him. It's been nice knowing you guys. Closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, that's a high five moment if I've ever heard of one. <laughs> all right, uh, you guys all read. How tall is Task? Three, three, uh, three feet. <laughs> three feet. Borky's like I don't know, six a thousand foot. billion. Bor Borky's like six foot six, six foot eight. Borky, Borky's Borky has to duck walking indoors. Yeah. Well, here's, <laughs> um, here's the fucking thing. People are saying like Task is the greatest dipl uh, diplomat. I'm like, well, I my intimidation is like my highest skill set. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, you guys reconvene center of town. Um business attended to and westward now, greeting you silly question can i do when i make a suggestion for a tactic i have to do it in character correct so i'm not metagaming it's it's better it's better to do it in character we'll talk about it afterwards all right because um, i i have an idea because you said one of those things could pretty much absorb a liquid is that what you said 
that one orb? Off, 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 off afterwards, once we what, divvy it up. What, 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 oh, I thought we could we'll, do we'll, we'll talk about the nature of this after the we're done this session, and we'll figure it out from there. For now, I gotta, I gotta keep time, sort of. Okay, no worries, no worries, no worries, no worries, no worries, no worries. It's kind of the nature of this is a little specific, so. Okay. I'm trying to, yeah. All right, so you guys reconvene in the center of town um, with the westward path. The trees are rustling. Uh, Borky asked There's... if he could have a health potion. Can I have a health potion for me to fight this thing? Fuck, I give him my lesser, ha my lesser, ah, no, give him my bigger potion, because my lesser one's not going to fucking do me any anyone any good for me. All right, so I have a, oh, 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 so it's a greater potion? You just, you just have a potion of healing. Potion of healing, thank you very much. Yes, and if it comes down to it, I can patch you up. You can do that? Yes. <laughs> Why haven't you been doing that the whole fucking time? You never asked. <laughs> It was never that. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Now you got both the fucking kobold and the orc staring you down. Listen, it was never that serious. Are you okay? I, 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 is... I, just admit it. Admit it. You're mad that I act. Boy, never that serious. I'm, 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 Listen. Are, are okay? you just leaving? Are you leaving them behind and walking ahead? No, I'm just hiding. Hey, so, all right. This <laughs> healing, you guys, costs me something. What? You know that, right? No. I, I can only do that twice a day. Then do it twice a day! <laughs> we're, we're complaining amongst ourselves. We have fucking bigger fish to fry. Let's go. Yeah, yeah you look, guys have been arguing, gonna... as you've been the, the, we're arguing as you've been We're yeah, arguing as we're walking. Yes, yes, it's been it's it's complicated. <laughs> None of you know magic. At least not yet. Not None of you know magic. At least not yet. So <laughs> So you, So don't worry about me not using spells. I if you are I will use my spells wisely and I have been. Why do I have to be a cute Fine. mage for you to do something nice for me? Oh god. Oh fuck! <laughs> God. All right, they keep walking. They keep walking. They keep walking. It's the conversation this, trail. This is how we bond, ladies and gentlemen. This is oh, <laughs> best friends. Sorry. Um, you and me, and me and you. No matter how they toss the dice. Here we come now, uh -oh. the inexpecto bulls. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, no. oh, he's back. Okay. For about an hour, and eventually you hear off in the distance the sound of rushing water. Um, precipice of a bridge mm. and immediately you get a feeling of dread. Oh! Everyone to roll a perception check as you oh. reach the base of this bridge. Oh, piss. There's nowhere to hide, yeah. is there? Uh, you are currently hiding in a bush. Am I? Yeah. I was just rolling. I was that, that was that was a roll to hide from them in case things got really heated. I was just walking with them. I just keep. You're just, it's implied you're just being. You're, you're being out then. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, there you go. Guys, you didn't. Greckles in task on point. As Borky <laughs> and and Panic converse, uh, Task and and Greckles, you see. A human girl way across the bridge. This bridge is huge. It is a massive, long bridge. Uh, let me just see how long it is. Uh, across the way, 100, 170 feet away, you see the figure of a girl. Small girl. Friend. Okay, re 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 sorry, re sorry, re repeat that last part. Out. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah, uh, we, you we, see we a girl. Long, dirty brown, uh, dirty blonde hair. Okay. Dress, apron. In her hand, she has uh, some flowers, and you see her run over to um, an undiscernible direction. She's, or, no, she is. She's basically heading over to one side, past the bridge. I'm gonna give you guys a visual aid here, real quick. Okay. All right. waters below okay and you see her something okay you cut your what you cut it you keep knitting get... you yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm trying um you see her placing the flowers on something 
Hmm. Okay. And she notices you and she looks. And then you see a large form stand up, towering above the tree that you, you saw. See this. And hopefully this works. A picture should show up. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, good. Oh, my goodness gracious me. That, that is awesome. Now, th th is this art complimentary yeah. of someone? This is Star's artwork. This is Star's uh, this... everybody. Wow, that is creepy looking. Uh, this thing walks forward. Thump, thump. And the little girl, you notice as it's walking on its knees were all these little flower circlets. They have just fallen to the ground. This thing notices you as well. Hmm. It stands up. Guys, and in the back cut of out. her you mind... Cut, you cut, you cut out. Go back again. It stands, <sighs> it sta God damn it. It stands out. Almost. It stands up, it looks to you, and you swear you feel something in the back of your head. You feel a heavy breathing creeping through your skull from the back of your spine where you meet the head, crawling like fingers under the skull all the way up and forward. I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. Fucking Christ. Uh-oh. Focus. Oh shit! Yeah! Wisdom saving throw? Finally, the rolls are coming in! Wisdom saving throw, yeah. That's a wisdom check. You need to do a saving throw. Oh. So, I. Oh! Above? A wisdom, yeah. oh, wisdom save. Oh, I'm supposed to do a wisdom yeah. save? Yeah. Okay, how do I do a wisdom save? It's the little thing next to, I think, your strength and your constitution. There's a smaller box. Mm, oh, passive yeah, wisdom. Under, under, wait, what? I'm, yeah. No. Uh, underneath your proficiency bonus, it'll have a small little table that says saving throws. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, okay. there we go. So Zito, you're gonna have. <laughs> that's to, yeah. Ooh. You're all gonna make sure that's, that's so. So we have one. I think uh, Task will need to reroll a wisdom saving throw. This isn't a check; it's a throw. Okay. There we are. You are. You are all immediately frightened. Oh. Blech. You feel a chill run uh down your spine here in a second um oh boy God. everyone to roll initiative oh no you want to turn the music on a, 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 sm a smidge yeah it's sorry it's really loud no worries this is cool actually okay. you can turn it up a little bit okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, 15, 4. Oh, well, that'll help him. And Nadine, can you turn it up a little bit? Turn up. the. I can't turn it up or else it's going to be too loud. Wow, really? It's only had two sound settings? Dang. Okay, well, it sounds really cool. Good choice. There we go. Is that okay? That's great. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, perfect. It's just it kind of jumps sometimes. All right. So that's... Uh, okay, and then... is you take disadvantages on attacks of the target which is the source of your fear as well as uh you cannot approach the thing of which you're afraid of wow we can't approach it you're cutting out you can't approach it no i didn't say anything else beyond that okay no, no skin off my back and how how long does that last for we don't know we don't know yeah Oh, all right. You have to make you have to make a save. Okay, how far? Subsequently, how, can we do it? How far away is that thing from us? Uh, you can do a ruler. There's a ruler on your sidebar, which you can use to judge the distance. How, how long are we looking at? 110 guys? feet from my direction. Jesus. All right. Well, we're gonna have to long range this thing for a while. Okay. Its neck snaps back as if. It's being tugged by a leash. And it, like, the limbs, the phantom limbs, you now see them on your body, is wisping like steam rising off of a bath. And it, and with a horrid lurching motion, moves forward, raises the sword. Yep. Hits the rope of the bridge. 
Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's gonna snap it. He immediately brings down this large sword as big as you, Borky, and slams it clean through the rope of the bridge, which now ah, tilts down. Mm. Fuck. Great. Just tilt Whoa, this thing is not liking my drawings. Which means half the bridge is now tilting. So it's like it was sli it's slanted. Yeah, I know. Okay. This point. Okay. Freckles, it is now your turn. Hey, Nadine, well, real, real quick, can you refresh yourself in the call? Okay. All right. So I'm starting to think the girl's the one controlling this fucking thing. Mm. Oh, I don't want any of this. Oh, fuck. Wouldn't that be a... <laughs> Wouldn't that just be a kick in the head? Hello, Nadine? Nadine, you there? No, I asked her to reset, and she's... She's in the call, but she's not saying anything. Um, try to see if... Uh, oh. Try to check your voice settings and see if your microphone switched to something different. If you just refresh the call, something should have changed. Uh, it, it'll do that sometimes, actually. It does, I mean, do, it does do that sometimes. Oh, my goodness. And Nadine... <clears throat> One second, guys. I'll have a quick, quick temporary hold here. Because she was cutting out. Oh, oh, it won't, it won't let her reconnect. I'll restart the call. Okay. One second, guys. We're going to have a quick technical switch up here as we get into this fun battle. Everyone good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can. I'm good. Can I... Okay. Nadine, are you okay? We're not hearing Nadine's microphone. Oh my god, damn it. This is not good. It's a connection type. One second. She needs better internet. <laughs> my, this is my parents' roll over. Right, okay. We. We can't do Skype, Nadine. So what it need, Skype, Nadine, I need you to reset. Uh, I need you to reset all of uh, Discord and then jump back in. Just reload the whole program. We will be holding. We're holding at pause as this, before this combat kicks up. Just real quick. They have ranged attacks, yeah. But I I don't think I can reach 200... I, I have fucking Sharpshooter, but I don't know if Sharpshooter is enough for me to reach 200 yards away. Uh, let's also bear in mind that this thing is very is either undead or ethereal, and we don't have anything, save for maybe Panic, that could do anything to it. Not to mention we're already feared, and we're going to have to keep making rolls to save. This is not a good fight, guys. <laughs> This is uh, honestly not a fight worth having. Well, I guess we're never getting into this fucking town. Hello? Hello? Oh, Hello? Wow. Oh, stop, okay. stop, stop, swap. Holy crap. Sorry. No, yeah, hold on. Just, let me just lower your sound. You are so loud. You guys are really quiet. No, you're really loud. I'm turning you down. You're super loud. You have to reset all the audio for yourself now. Jesus. Well, at least you're in Pat. here. Panic. Yeah, I'm I'm so sorry. No, I, it's okay. Yeah, your, it... your internet, the internet crashed, and it's just. All right, you're back though. So here we go, Nadine. All right, just just uh, change everyone's audio. Everyone is everyone gonna talk real fast so she can balance the audio on her end. We'll just. Yeah, yeah, I, I, can, I, I can hear you guys. I can hear you guys. Talking. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. All right. Yeah, All right. It, was, it was because she started a Skype call. All right. Cool. Then let's continue Rec on then. Reckles, okay. it is now your turn. Uh, you can roll a wisdom save. Okay. Nope. Oh. Right. Can, of this thing. Can, can I actually? Here, here's here was my thoughts, and I would want to move to the bridge side, wanting to cut it to cut the other side down. Can I move forward with that in, that intention? Nope. Since I am afraid. Okay. Yeah. No, you can't move anywhere towards it. You could move to the sides, but you can't move towards it. Okay, uh, let me scroll the map a little oh, bit. Oh, jeez, this creature's really powerful. 
Oh yeah, that's why this is not a good fight. I, why can't I scroll? Okay, there we go. Jeez. Oh boy, this game keeps repositioning. Um. 50, 40, 40, 30. This might be the end of the Unexpectables. <laughs> Find out now. Okay. Yeah, I'm going way over there. Okay. Uh, task. All right. Where is my sheet? Here it is. Oh. Uh, so the, the thing on the right is the thing on the right what we need the thing on the right you mean next to the thing like no the the the, the number on like the on one, number on the left we need okay yeah i'm starting you to think heavy breath in the back of your head you feel your body chill i'm starting to believe I I'm sorry, this might be me being fucking crazy, but I'm starting to think that the girl is the reason. Is Goomba talking? What's on no. your turn? Okay. What? Nothing. Do you want to do anything else on your turn? Move? I can't attack. You feel Disadvantage, your... though, because you are afraid. You could, you, yeah, you can take that shot, but you're going to have to take the low roll. Yeah, you'll be rolling with disadvantage. Fuck. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hmm. I... I have an idea. I want to instead use my action to tie... Mm, wait, no, that's 50 feet. Shit. Hold on. A big bridge. Yeah, I need to combine everyone's rope together if that was the situation. I was thinking of shooting an arrow across the way. Hmm. Ah, fuck it. I may as well just try. How far can an orc throw? Uh, not 500 feet. Mm. Not, no, yeah. 60 feet. And uh, will it with with, with uh? With my what the fuck is it called? With my sharp uh, shooter. shooter, will I will I actually be, if I was to hit this thing, would my arrow have range? Uh, it would have range, uh, but you're still gonna take disadvantage because because of the fear effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. But better than doing absolutely nothing. And I'm sure I'm gonna, I'm sure I'm gonna fuck it up anyway because my rolls have been nothing but fucking stellar tonight. <laughs> I have a 50 foot rope though. Don't forget. I, I know, but we're, that's not not gonna help. I was gonna say we would we have there's four of us. Even if we combined rope together with the idea I was having, it still wouldn't work. All right, no worries. You fire, yeah. it lands into basically where the bridge was. It falls short, and you hear the rampaging waters below swallow your arrow. Great. Panic. All right. Gonna go ahead and roll my wisdom save then. Okay. Uh, not right now, please. Not right now, please. Uh, you're still under the fear effect. Shit. Uh. Can we hear any any sounds coming from the other side of the bridge? Uh, the rampaging waters are too loud. Uh, you could perceive if you wanted to on your turn. Okay. We're hearing some badass um, music is what we're hearing. Oh, God. This music is perfect for this fight. We're also hearing whispers in the back of your head as well. Oh, good. <sighs> I can't do anything. Yeah. So I'm... I'm just gonna stay still and try to collect my thoughts. You are currently shaking. You are just, your hands are shaking. As you stare into the eyes of this thing, the red smoke is spewing out. Borky, it is now your turn. Wisdom save for Borky. Let's see this hat trick. Uh. That 
20 though. Oh. Yeah, wrong you, side, wrong side though. You you have an urge to go to that girl and, and get her to safety, but pretty bigger than you and has just this immense pressure on you. Oh man. All right, I do nothing. Nothing really to do. I can't throw anything far enough. Side of the bridge. Repeat, Freckles. repeat that. The thing moves to the other side of the bridge. Okay. One more time. The thing moves to the other side of the okay. bridge. Okay. Heard that one. Okay. Okie doke. Um, just, um... Nope. Ask. Fuck you! Get it. Get it, Zito. Less. Nat 20, baby. You think about your your life as a quartermaster and what took it all away from you bigger creatures thinking they can go where they please and you break through the fear the voices that are in your head the trembling sensation in your hands and you grab some resolve what would you like to do Zito I'm fucking yeah, tired I'm tired of this fucking bullshit Take another shot. Okay. Let's see. Where's Where's me sheet? Me sheet is right here. Okay. That hits. The arrow shrieks across and it hits him in the shoulder. So I, what I imagine now is just Tash like looking at this big thing. Fucking, he just sees the- it fucking takes the form of the dragon in front of him. And he's just like, no, not- Fuck you, not again! Just pulls the arrow ready and takes aim. Uh, as you hit him, you notice he doesn't even flinch. He doesn't even look at it. Huh. On a clear path. Panic, it is now your turn. Connick. Guess I'll roll my uh, yeah. wisdom. Yeah. Her. Uh. Oh. Uh. No, you're still clenched with fear. Orky. Time for me to be a wise one. Ain't no when to go get me down. Wisdom. Do. <laughs> Do. Roll this damage. Thing lumbers oh, right. over. I didn't even roll damage. We didn't roll damage on the creature. Well, wow. Yeah. Doesn't even flinch, doesn't look down. But... Jesus Christ, this thing's rolling high. It reaches up its sword to the bridge and hacks through both the ropes. The bridge, you hear a horrible creaking noise as the entire bridge swings down and smashes against the other side, hanging down below. Oh. Uh, from you. What? It, it, it cuts the bridge, and the bridge swings back, yeah. hits the side of the cliff, and it stares out at you, I looking look at the, I look at the almost girl. intently. What's the, girl, what's the girl doing? She she's frozen. She's completely frozen. She's got like a hand of daisies in her hand, and she looks to the big thing as it's just basically taken out this bridge, and it's kind of breathing and sagging and, <sighs> and then it turns and looks at her, and she jumps like she looks scared. And it walks over to her, and she doesn't move. She's frozen. Um, it grabs her not nicely. It grabs her thumb, goes on uh, on her waist. Uh, the, the pointer finger goes on one shoulder, the middle finger goes on another shoulder, and she grabs her torso and all, grabs her, and she lets out a small scream. Um, you can hear it across the raging waters, and he just drags her away. The bridge in front of you laps against the raging waters. And that's where we'll end our session for tonight. Oh, wow. Ugh. Oh, man. Okay. Well, everyone, thank you so much. Sorry for the tech issues again this time, guys. We apologize uh, for the delays we had. Thank you ever. Thank you so much for coming to this session. Guys, that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a lot of fun.
Oh man, this like. Uh, people want the monster portrait. I'll give it to you guys again here. It is disturbing beyond. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna put that in full screen. Look at that. It looks so creepy. Ah, my God, Star, you're so talented. <laughs> friend Daka is here. Gotta have Daka. That's actually the person who's in my Pathfinder group. Oh, that's fun. Ooh. Yeah, they're currently in hell. <laughs> oh, boy. That's their... That's what they get for living in sand. <laughs> Playing Pathfinder. I'm joking. But no, this was a lot of fun. Like, I, I, I gotta ask the chat, like, what were your favorite... Some of your favorite parts? Because the thing is, there will be a session again next week. Everyone's really quiet right now. Is everyone okay? Which is why oh. there was a little bit of, um, I had to do a little bit of, I hate it to do it. I had a little bit of railroading, just a little bit, just kind of to hurry things along. But poor Ted, dude. Everyone's like Ted. Ted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, he deserved it. He was a goblin. Ozzy Seducing Ozzy. Panic. Art. Panic. 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 Oh, the panic seduction was really good. Stupid, oh, sexy panic. A acting. The acting Feels scene. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> Nothing at all. Someday I, I want someone to draw a twins photo of like Borky and 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 and, and Task, but they're doing like the twins back to back, but Borky's completely on his back, and just you just see a hand kind of sticking out underneath Borky, like they were going <laughs> for the twins thing, but Borky's just so big he crushed them. That would be fun. Or Task is standing on several boxes. <laughs> oh, that would be good too, actually. You can oh, see what? the tip of his ears. <laughs> Yeah, Zeno having great roles. What a cute jape that was there, someone in chat. Oh, God. Mm. But, so, I'm really happy that people really enjoyed this. Because, like, next, next Wednesday, again, we will be doing D&D &D for the Unexpectables campaign. Even though two of us are gone, we kind of have a plan. Correct, Nadine? Yeah, I got a plan. We got a plan, what we're going to be doing. Always got a plan. <laughs> Always got a plan. But, guys, uh, I want to, like... I don't like that laugh. This was... this was. Uh, I think we uh, had over 600 people in here. We had yeah. seven over 700 at one point. Wow. Wow, that's good numbers. Zito setting that town straight. I'm sorry, but, like, yeah, everyone's like, oh, Task is a xenophobic asshole. Yeah, but so is this whole oh. fucking town. Everyone's xenophobic. <laughs> everyone's xenophobic. Whole Pathfinder just... group is in here. Spicy McHaggis, he's in he's in my Pathfinder group as well. Oh, your, your whole group's all like, here. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, everyone's uh oh, everyone's like, oh, the town the township's not racist. Every single one of them looked at Task with revile. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> it was nice meeting you all. Closing the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, do we want to show the official artwork to people Absol just so they can see the character? Absolutely. Um, sure, why not? Can you put can you put it up? Yeah. Can you put it up, Nitty? This is yeah. this is we'll do it in order. This is uh this does it show up for you guys? Uh, yeah, the, I yeah. See it. show the players. Uh, where? It's not I, showing up. It's not showing up. I mean, I'm still looking at the. the... Oh. If you just go to the side, Curtis, under the journal tab. Under the journal tab. Oh, there we go. Or up above to the side. Yeah. The mysterious. Uh, Hmm? You you have your mysterious speed if you go under player characters. Yeah. This is Greco. Characters to show the art. Oh, it's it's just the profile shots that are done down there too, but that's Greco's. Panic Grim Tom. Oh, uh, I gotta go over to uh, Borky. And Task. There we are. Those are the characters. And I believe I can show Abacus as well, the one who sent us on this yeah, mission. Yeah, Abacus is there as well. She's under important characters. She is Moe AF. Pretty lady. <laughs> Watch out, she'll turn you into a title. You don't want that. You don't want that. I, I, was, I was half expecting the fucking hedgehog to turn him into a hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was waiting for cast through... Uh, familiar for something crazy to happen. I was gonna say, uh, familiars yes, in fifth edition, you can actually see through them. So, man, that's the one good thing, though. Talk about this being your relative first time to D and D. Like, 
it, it fits very well with Borky. No, that's exactly <laughs> why I rolled him this way. I'm like, I don't know fucking jack shit about this shit. So I'm going to play a character who doesn't know jack shit about anything. <laughs> Plays, <laughs> make my weakness my strength. It works. Oh, doing this. All right, guys, I want to do a couple plugs here. Uh, please follow my sister, the DM, at Monty Glue on Twitter. Give her a follow because she tweets about the campaign and stuff. Please follow Star Exorcist, who did the incredible art for this campaign. Oh, my God, it looks so good. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give at Senile Snake, who is the voice of Panic Grimtongue. Of course, follow at Gaijin Goomba, the Greckles Sasuke Edgelord, as he self-describes him. <laughs> Task, the boss. If I had to give Task a name, who's played by at CZ Backlash, Chris Zito, I have to call him the boss. <laughs> can I hand can I hand you this nice arrow when he's trying time? I, I was literally waiting. I was literally waiting to say, can I offer you a macaroon in these trying times? <laughs> I was waiting for it, right? Was that the big plan? Oh man, no, I don't, I don't know. I actually thought I would be able to lure the girl away with, with, uh, with the macaroons at some point in the engagement. Buddy. Oh my god! Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, Ooh piece of candy. Oh, uh, came into play with the ogre, which is really good. And I am Takahata 101. You can follow me on Twitter at Takahata 101. And if you liked what you guys saw, please tell other people about it. We'll be uploading it onto YouTube, and we'll be streaming again next Wednesday at the exact same time. But if, uh, if I could, real quick, yeah, I'd also like to plug something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, if you haven't gotten your fill of D and D for this week, I will actually be streaming a D and D campaign of my own tomorrow at around one p.m. Central Time. How dare you? Uh, the campaign How is called dare... Alathrian. How dare you? <laughs> just what was the name? I'm just joking. Uh, it's called Alathrian. Um, uh, I'll be streaming with. Uh, Mick Siggy, it's just Beak, the DM, everyone loves robots, and myself will be a player character as well. And that'll be on my stream, that is uh, twitch.tv slash senile snake with a three instead of an E at the end. Oh, okay, cool. Sounds good, sounds good. Alrighty. Well, with everyone, with that, we leave the unexpectables with a foe that they could barely even move. Borky feels weak. Greckles feels birdie. <laughs> Let Z me edge. Z Zito, Z uh, <laughs> poor, poor Task, just, you know, it's kind of pissed. And, uh, poor Panic Grim Tunnel is just shaking in his knees. I have a boyfriend, though. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a boyfriend. <laughs> That's just how it is. I think I have a boyfriend now. Cut I to credits. Have, I have one. Yeah, and you and you and you also have you have a you have a fucking grandmother girlfriend as well. I have one thousand boyfriends. <laughs> no, no, no. You see, Panic has one groupie. He has he has to have his groupie count. One. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. Thank you so much, and have a lovely evening. And so for the, and for those on YouTube, if you like this, please like and subscribe and comment. Lots of love, everybody. Have a good night.